Opie and Anthony Show. The show blow, 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 blow. Blow, blow, blow. The Opie and Anthony Show. Blow, blow, blow. Show blows monkey ass. The Opie and Anthony Show. Ah, oh, yeah. How do we work? How do we work this equipment? <laughs> What'd you forget? It's been so damn long. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. We are back live. Live. Yes. Full of energy, baby. How you doing? Doing all right. We got to prove to people that it's live, though, because how do we do that? When you're uh, in worst of mode, some of that stuff sounds live. So Yeah, all of a sudden we'll come on and say, hey, we're here live, and then uh, it's some Christmas bit. I think it's like September 4th? 4th. Is it September 4th? I don't even know. 2001. 2001. We are live. Yes, it's a Tuesday. That's right. We took uh, the longest vacation of our lives. Yeah, it is the longest vacation we've ever, ever taken. We usually uh, barely get a weekend. This time, we yeah. we almost made it to two weeks we without milked doing the radio it. show. We milked it. <laughs> understand. Some people a little upset at our absence. But uh, we, we, we had to get out of here for a little bit. Yeah. 2020, very smart. They knew when we were going to be on vacation. So yeah. they ran that lovely piece on us in the radio show while we were gone. Thank you. Now it's not as urgent to talk about it. Yeah. Happened like a week ago. <laughs> Phone's already lit. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, here's the phone numbers, just in case you don't know. we got to say hi to Buffalo. They're, they're live today for the first time. Oh, yeah. My old uh, stomping ground. I spent three years in Buffalo, Anthony. You did, did you? At a fine station called the Fox that is no longer. And uh, hello, Buffalo. Hey, Buffalo. Welcome aboard, as right. they say. The phone numbers. We are live. Yes. Uh, if you're in the New York area, 877-692-1027. If you're anywhere else, we'd love to hear from you as well. 866-2774-WOW. That's 866-2774-WOW. Our suspension's finally over. <laughs> Our fake suspension. No fake. Uh, no. No. It was no. a vacation. Yes, a lot it was. of people like to pull the wool over your eyes by saying they were suspended. No. Vacation. Also, uh, while we were gone, management uh, felt like uh, just completely destroying our website. Ravaging the uh, the website. Ravaging. What happened it. there? There's something, it's something we got to bring up uh, right off the bat here because I'm, I'm getting hundreds of email from people all over the country. People that don't even get the radio show, but they, uh -huh. they saw us on 2020 Downtown. Yeah. And uh, they, they, they saw the piece and they're like, oh, these guys seem kind of in interesting. Let me check them out on their website. Mm -hmm. Website has nothing. Yeah, we're talking about the, um, uh, not the Foundry Music guy. No, so I want to give out that site like ten times today. Yeah. If, you, if you're a fan of the show or you want to check out what we're all about, you go to foundrymusic.com. Right. It's not censored yet, but they're trying to do that as well to us. So it's www.foundrymusic.com, F-O-U-N-D-R-Y, music.com. That's foundrymusic.com. Write that website down. It's really important if you're yes. into this radio show. F-O-U-N-D-R-Y, music.com, okay? Yeah. Ah. Good to be back. Though, Good to be back, it? Yeah. isn't it? Should we uh, go right to the phones? I don't even know where to begin. I was yeah, in... I know. we got to ease ourselves back into uh, show mode. I haven't even talked to Anthony for two weeks. No. Could care less about him. You were in you were, you were in other countries. I was in uh, Turkey and uh, Greece. <laughs> Dirty countries. I was in Istanbul. You were in the filthy country of Turkey. I was in Istanbul. <laughs> Istanbul! Isn't there a movie about some guy that had to escape from Turkey? I, like, I, I try not to go to countries that Americans have tried to escape from. I completely believe it. Really? I never want to go back to Istanbul again. Yeah, what was that? A Midnight uh, Express. Was it Midnight Express? Yeah, he was arrested for the, the hash. The hash. I smelled hash that he had everywhere. Hash on him, and when he tried to get on the airplane with it taped around him. Yeah. You, uh, I get you off. You get, I, I good lawyer. Get you off. You get uh, six months. Okay, 30 years. <laughs> guy had to escape from Turkey. They haven't figured out. Hope he's vacationing there. They haven't figured out the hash problem in, uh, no, huh? in Istanbul. Get some good hash? No, I didn't do Hope has his hash. hash pipe. No. I used to love smoking the hash, <laughs> to be quite years, honest with you. Years yeah. ago. In college, under back the glass. In the, sure. Back in the old days. Sure. 
See, we could talk about like drugs and stuff on our show without any PSAs. No, you don't have to put a PSA. You just talk about it honestly, and uh, that's pretty much uh, what, it, what the show is about. When we play Afro Man, we don't bleep <laughs> anything. I hear there's a radio station playing uh, Afro Man uh, because I got high or whatever. They're bleeping, and then some uh, they're, stations they're, they're, are... They're bleeping the word high. Yeah. One of the stations in New York, they play yeah. Afro Man, you know, because they got high, and they're bleeping high. They're bleeping high. Like, why even play the song? And uh, uh, some stations are playing disclaimers. Yeah, they're telling <laughs> before they play the song or after the song, they're telling the kids how bad pot is, how bad drugs are, and you shouldn't do X. It's a yeah, yeah that's a, that's a way to show your your audience that you're cool. And isn't and on the edge. If you want to think of it in, the, in those terms, isn't the entire song a pretty much a statement that uh, it's pretty bad if you you smoke the weed all the time? You're you're going to lose some things in life. You have to play a disclaimer before. Yeah. E, that's bad. All right. Honestly, that sounds like a Dave Dickless move to me. <laughs> oh, WAF, our old station hey, boss. Yeah, one yeah. of the stations that... Why don't know. we help out the kids? <laughs> we got to put a disclaimer before that. Yeah, that proves that you're a station on the edge and you're, you're taking chances. PSAs before you play before a, drug a song. song. Oh, yeah. please. Anyway, um... I don't know where to begin, so why don't we let the listeners help us out, okay? All right, we'll, we'll get reacquainted with our audience. So. Sure, why don't we do that? Let's uh, mm -hmm. go right to Tim. Tim, what's going on? You're the first call. Guys, welcome back. Hey, man, thank you. Nice to have you back. Anthony. Yeah. Anthony, did you catch your favorite program this weekend? Uh, what? The Jerry Lewis <laughs> Muscular Dystrophy Telethon. Well, I was on vacation, but I did tune did... in went back in the room as I was uh, channel surfing a little at night, and I did see... Uh, some of it. Not only Jerry Lewis, big big fat guy. If you saw him at all, he really didn't spend much time on the no, screen. Didn't. All all I heard was that he uh, he gained a lot of weight. He looks bloated and he looks half dead. Well, we yeah. know where all that money goes now for the research. For it goes to his diet. Goes. The fat pig. Not only that, but well, there is something. Has anyone addressed that there is something seriously wrong with Ed McMahon? Like he's got to be. I give that guy a week. But he's old, Ed. That's yeah, all maybe it that's all that it is. But I think, uh, okay, he Jerry's was... been eating Ed McMahon's food. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. Backstage, maybe. He's, why, is he getting thin and Jerry's Ed getting fatter? Ed is really getting thin. And you know Ed's whole gig is? He's an announcer. Right. So he started, here's, here's Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and now this word from Kennel Ration. <laughs> you know, he, he would be an announcer. The guy can't talk anymore. I don't know if he can't see or his voice is gone, but he, he goes, I've uh, met these young kids from this website. <laughs> that, let's now introduce these brand new young stars. He can't talk. You know what? And Jerry, and Jerry trying to do some of the shtick he did back in the 40s and 50s with Dino, yeah. where he would play the orchestra conductor, or he'd be doing the air typing thing to the real fast music. Now, at his age, I swear to God, it just looks like an old man with Parkinson's. It's over, Johnny. He's, he's, he's going into spasms <laughs> as he's trying to do these bits. It, doesn't, it looks dangerous now. <laughs> when are they going to roll Jerry out in the wheelchair? Do they, do they bring out Charo? Charo, let's have a big hand. Did you see her in a new commercial, too? Yeah, I saw the new, <laughs> the new Charo. Oh, God almighty. You know, it's, it's, time, it's time to give up on muscular dystrophy. It's over, Johnny. We gave him a lot of time there to come up with the cure. We, we did. We, we got a lot of time and, and a lot of money. Invested. Let's move on to, um, I don't know. Look, let's move Pancreatic on. Pancreatic cancer. I don't see anything happening with mus muscular dystrophy. Yeah. It's the same kids being wheeled out in the wheelchairs. The wheelchairs look better, though. Much better. Yeah, yeah, some motorized. of them. You see the titanium blue ones now? They look nice. Look They're nice. all motorized. Every kid his own little Timmy now. But with all the money that we've given Jerry Lewis over the years, I think we should have solved the disease by now. Yeah, it's over. Let's let's uh, focus on a, a new disease. That's shark it. attack. Where a do new, you want to go? A shark attack <laughs> disease. A new shark, shark attack, attack disease. disease. Oh, did you see the size of that kid? No wonder why the shark wanted him. That kid must have been like a baby seal to the shark. <laughs> oh, the kid's a porker. Did they flip him up in the air? Yeah, they beat him with a yeah. club after a while, too. Yeah. All right, guys, listen, welcome back. Hey, Thanks, thank man. you. Thank you, Rules, and we'll see you later. All right, Tim. Be good. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry yeah. doing all his old shtick. Do you know, I saw a little special on Jerry. Every year they do a, a little special on Jerry and what he's been doing, how he got involved with MDA. And uh, they showed him doing a show in Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Jerry Lewis. Mm -hmm. You go into, you know what he does? He stands there, tells some bad old jokes, and then plays film clips of his movies and him and Dean. 
and film clips of him doing these routines that I guess he can't do anymore. And he stands there and watches the film with the audience. <laughs> hey, that's like, a, what the hell is that? That's a better gig than this show. That's a good gig if you can get it. <laughs> It's like us doing best stuff for 10 days. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And getting paid for it. He just stands there with the audience. He goes, wasn't I great back then? <laughs> wasn't I great? And, and uh, then he tries to do a couple of them, like I said. You ever see the one where it's like, ding, 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 and, and he's typing in the air? Yeah, yeah. And pushing the little carriage back? Well, you know, he was the first Jim Carrey. Of course he was. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and then uh, he's doing uh, another bit where uh, he just makes faces. That's all he does. Right. He makes wacky faces. Right. And I can only imagine the faces he makes are the same ones he makes trying to squeak out a bat when he's constipated. He was making, like, constipation faces. And people paid for this. How were the kids? Were they looking... At least you get this for free, people. How were the kids? Were they looking <laughs> extra pathetic uh, over the weekend? Yeah. They've, uh, they, they've got some real pathetic ones. But they're in better chairs, so they wheel them out. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, then Jerry goes and got after a tote. It's, it's over as far as muscular dystrophy goes. The, yeah. The hosts are dying. And, you know. Gave it a good whirl. Once Jerry goes, I don't know who they're going to get to uh, replace. Let's move on to a new disease that we could try to cure every Labor Day. Ladies and gentlemen, from my new show, Star, Star First Day. He's, Ed's got a new show. Damn, it's crazy. called, like, it, it's it, it's... Who's a star or some kind of? It's a blatant star search report. But he's not allowed to use. He's the not name. allowed to use star search. <laughs> <laughs> and you get three and a half stars. <laughs> I'm pissed. I missed the telephone. Yeah. I well, you were in Turkey. I haven't seen. <laughs> I haven't seen TV. No. Well, I, I saw some European TV, which is uh, <laughs> how's that? Quite different. They're yeah. really into that, uh, what was that uh, show about Superman with uh, uh, Dean Cain and... Lois and Clark? Oh, Lois Clark. and Clark is The huge. adventures of Lois and Clark well, are huge? Lois and Clark is huge in Greece. How about Knight Greece. Rider? No Knight Rider. Because I hear um, David Hasselhoff and Knight Rider. Huge show. Huge. Still. He, he used to tour and sing, and he'd go out on stage, Opie. Imagine this, if you will. Probably better than going to see Jerry Lewis. Would be uh, David Hasselhoff standing on a black Trans Am Knight Rider type car, singing "I'm a Knight Rider baby," <laughs> and, and if if you could go to somewhere, uh, Ben or, or Rick, and try to find David Hasselhoff singing the Knight Rider song, yeah, I'd be indebted to you for life. Yeah, let's uh, let, we have to find European that. TV. So that's what you had, Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark. That was the only TV I've seen in the that's last the ten days. I ha uh, Shut up, thing. Spiro. <laughs> Hey, you're the first dick of our uh, post-vacation. <laughs> shut up. For, <laughs> shut up for a second. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen TV. Uh, I didn't read a newspaper. Didn't check the internet. Didn't read yeah. Oh, we found it. Ah, we got the album. Oh, nice. Wait, can you guys do it in the other room or not? That is killer. Let me see the, let me see the cover. I don't think we can if play it. David has a lot. Look, he's on the Night Rider cover to get talked. I don't think we can. <laughs> what what a dick. We broke that turntable months ago. Is it no, we had two in here. I think uh -huh. I think that's the one that works. We're going back to Vital here at WWE. At WWE. <laughs> uh, Spiro, what's up? Uh, you were in Turkey? I was in Istanbul. Istanbul. Istanbul, my, my friend. On honeymoon. And, and Kusadasi. Kusadasi? Ooh. Which is an island uh, uh, down, the, down the coast of Turkey somewhere near the like the Greek islands. Some filthy little place. I don't know. Some yeah. filth-ridden little Turkish place. Kusadasi. So what's it? I don't know that island. I like their Anyway, country. my brother went on his honeymoon. Yeah. yeah. And he met some guy named Ahmed. Ahmed? And was taking me. Every place he had, Ahmed had a cousin. Right. He took him to like St. Sophia, supposed to be a church that's over there. Yeah. They wouldn't let him in. It was like a big museum or something. And he says, don't worry, Ahmed. I, I have a cousin here. Everywhere they went, he had a cousin, this guy. Well. He was taking them all over the place. Uh, so so what, what did you want to say about Istanbul, though? Istanbul is like my, my parents had gone. They told me that place is filthy. It's uh, an interesting place. There's a bunch of money-grubbing. That, too. Whatever they had. They pay yeah. off this one, pay off that one. If, uh, it's trying to ripping you off. You can't even walk down the street without someone coming up to you and uh, asking you to buy a stupid postcard. Or... They're impoverished over there. Their major export is AIDS, yep. I hear, right? <laughs> is that true? Sure. Yeah. You can't even walk into the bathroom. Public bathrooms in there. No, They're like pig pens. Know how yeah. pathetic Turkey is in general? Yeah. They warned you uh, that uh, if, you, if you get any Turkish money... Yeah. Don't bring it back on the cruise ship. Don't bring it to the airports. No one will will give you American money back for your Turkish cash. Of course not. Cash. Remember uh, in Midnight uh, Express, Rifki, the tea salesman guy, the big fat one? 
I give you a tea, my friend. I picture everyone in Turkey to look like that. Just they that dirty and trying to get money. <laughs> I have not want to down the tea, my friend. And then the American, he, he like gouged his eyes and bit his tongue out. Remember that one? That rocked. I just picture everyone like that. that you, your cat. I killed your cat. <laughs> and they don't have enough money to be fat in Turkey. No? These people are not eating that well. And uh, is uh, the roads like just... Like dirt and cobblestone, and the buildings look like they're made of clay. No, uh, su surprisingly, <laughs> it looks like, you know, pretty much a regular city, but you can't read the writing. <laughs> well, the closest I got to that was the, um, the uh, Morocco part of uh, Epcot, which looked pretty dirty, too, for Disney. I don't think they polished the garbage pills around the Moroccan ex uh, Epcot uh, place. So I was there, too, Opie. It was exactly like it, I'm sure. Just like Istanbul. Well, do they wear little things that say cast member? No? No. This, this, was, this was the real thing. No, my one observation about Turkey. Yeah. Wait, this guy's uh, filth. Uh, well, no. Besides the filth. Yeah. Every person that lives in Turkey has one of those large, unusual moles somewhere on their body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know something. What's in the water in the in the foreign countries? They all have one unusual large mole. Mole, my friend. Mole, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> right? Was this it, oh? This just blaring in the streets? Or this? <laughs> hey, that's music? <laughs> that is our Britney Spears, my friend. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm sure you fit right in with the people there too, Opie. <laughs> I was I was chum. <laughs> you were like I was a minority yeah, for a week. Exactly, because you got the blonde hair, very fair skin, and you're with this these people just with the big bushy mustaches. Do they all have the mustache? They all have mustaches. The big bushy Turkey. mustache. Yeah, they all have the mustaches. I just want to say hi to my African brothers. I understand. You understand the struggle now? You appreciate the struggle, it? man. You go, you go somewhere like Turkey for a week and you're the minority. You know how you could uh, equate it to, to something maybe we're all familiar with? Go um, out into any major city, hail a cab, and imagine someone like Opie driving it. Whoa! You'd freak out, right? You'd freak out if you saw that. No! You say, yes, my friend. Vinny, what's going on? What's up, Opie? Come on, Anthony. Man, I called to curse you out. I'm Turkish, but you're making me laugh. <laughs> well, what's the matter? He, he, he called because he was pissed because we were making fun of Turkey, but now Turkey's he's a filthy little thing. Oh, my God. Hey, oh, I'm Italian, I... and let me tell you something. I wouldn't eat off the streets of uh, Italy either. Hey, hey, Vinny, how could you defend a country that doesn't even allow their women out until, I think, I don't know, 2 in the afternoon? No, no, no. <laughs> Get back! We were, we were driving. We would leave the cruise ship and go on these excursions. By the way, I should tell people that I only spent uh, a day and a half in the fine country of Turkey, and then we moved on to the, the and Greek. And it felt like how many? Uh, about a week and a half. And then, we, and then we moved on to the Greek islands, because people were like, why would you go to Turkey for a week? Yeah, unless you're smuggling dope. Dude, like, I spend my, I'm spending my vacation smuggling a uh, ass lot of hash back to America. And uh, the downside, i got to stay in Turkey. Hey, I... I Hey, I was a mule. You, you want to try some hash? A hats? mule. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some hash. Well, look, here's, here's the thing. Seriously, seriously, we we uh, did these excursions uh, to the Blue Mosque. I don't know, some famous Muslim place that they worship. And I don't well, know. Well, yes, there's yeah. a lot of mosques and a lot of Muslims. This is, like a, this is, I guess, a really famous one that just smelled like feet because you weren't allowed in there with your shoes. <laughs> oh, was it, so it was more pleasant smelling than the rest of Turkey? <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was brutal, but uh, oh, look. go ahead, Vinny. Yeah, that no, that island that she was talking about, uh, the it's called uh, Kushadasa. That means like Bird Island. Uh, Kusada Kushadasi. Whatever. Yeah, that that that, that place was that place was kind of cool. Was it? Yeah, yeah I've never been there myself, but um. Dude, did the yeah, people it, just stink? It's it's yeah. all the fundamentals. Oh, yeah. 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 Like I don't picture I don't picture the guy that's just dressed in all that garb much. and the women that aren't allowed out unless they're totally veiled over going like. You well, know, I could really use a shower. <laughs> well, I, I learned uh, a couple things about Turkey, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. First of all, do you realize Turkey is the only country that's on two continents? The only country that's on two continents. It's part of Asia and Asia? part of uh, Europe. And Europe. Europe. Asia. How about that. that? I also learned that it's, uh, Turkey is 98% Muslim. 
Wow. Ninety eight percent Muslim. And only a small percentage are the the uh, what are they? The Shiites. 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 Those are the hardcore Muslims that that let their women out if if uh, everything's covered besides their eyeballs. <laughs> they look like Casper. Right. <laughs> Not <laughs> you know, we get a lot of flack on this show uh, because how supposedly we we tr treat women and stuff with our Whip 'Em Out Wednesday campaign. And yeah. Stuff. Shut the f up. You, you Go ladies, to Turkey. Yeah, you, you ladies gotta wear a pillowcase and cut some holes. <laughs> right. You look through that and shut up. <laughs> the, the best though. Yeah. <laughs> the best though in Turkey, like yeah. like Jim was saying, they're covered except for their eyeballs, and it's a hundred degrees out there, completely in black. You can only see the ladies' eyes. Right. Okay. The husband is walking right next to them in the latest shorts and and shirt. Yeah, just oh. enjoy and sandals. Like he's completely comfortable for the weather. He's got you know like uh, I don't know uh, jean shorts on and a nice you know I don't know like uh, Dallas Cowboys t-shirt. <laughs> Cowboys. Seriously, Cowboys. seriously, it's not even. It, <laughs> that is good. It's the, <laughs> it's, it's, from, it's the furthest from traditional you know uh, uh, you know uh, clothes. <laughs> right. And there's, and there's his wife just sweating. <laughs> Sweating her ass off right. because she's completely covered. Oh, my God. And they bitch That's about how women are treated in America. Shut up. E-Man from <laughs> Jersey, first one to realize uh, Brewer's in the studio. Jim yeah, Brewer. Yeah. He heard a... <laughs> <laughs> and said, oh, Brewer. Hey, the, yes, Jim Brewer. The goat sound effect came in handy for this bit today. It's the only time I would use it. How much, how much do you owe Lauren for the, using it? Right there. You got to toss him any cake. Did Jim just use that on Opie and Anthony? <laughs> Cha ching. Cha ching. <laughs> Turkey. Okay, so you had your little Turkish adventure. Yeah, Turkey. That was nice. But Wait you a minute. Now, doesn't Turkey and Greece, they don't like one another. They're like, really? Oh, they don't they, like yeah, they, like, yeah. They've been killing each other for many, many years, the Turks and the Greeks. Because I had a Greek friend. Right. The only because every time we go to his, you know, his uncle's diner, he'd be like, "Yo, man, tell the bus boy your mama's a pookie." <laughs> and he's like, "Mama's a pookie, yo, oh, man." You understand? Hey, Rob, what's up? Hey, Rob, yo, what's yeah, up? What's up, guys? Welcome hey, back. Thank you. Uh, quick question, Opie. I wanted to know if Turkish guys are as tough as French guys underwater. Oh really? Well, um, I, I guess I, it's it's uh, I, I should tell everyone I did not get in a fight. So <laughs> no fight. Vacation? Last vacation, wow. Opie went on. If you remember, he went down to uh, where were you? The uh, Turks and Caicos, Turks and, Turks down in the Caribbean, Caicos. and uh, he went to scuba diving. Yeah. And 60 feet underwater, he got in a fight with a French man who was also <laughs> scuba diving. So just to let everybody know what happened there on the last vacation, Opie got in a sea hunt-like fight please, with a French happened? guy. You never heard that no, story? No, come on, i got to hear this. Oh, <laughs> I, we've gone over to bar. They but, scuba okay. dive. So I, we're, we're going, I've scuba, I, I, I've dove a few times. Okay. I'm nowhere near an expert or certified or anything. I've done about 10 or 12 dives, so, so you feel a little comfortable in the water. And it, it was this French guy's first time with his oh. wife. I'm on the uh -huh. I'm on the uh, on the ocean floor, only 60 feet, because you're not certified, so they don't take right. you down too. Far. Jacques Cousteau was a French man, by the way, and he was a very good diver. <laughs> Guy dove until he was a virtual skeleton in a scuba mask. All right, so down into the murky depths. <laughs> My son Philippe is duking it out with OP. So, so this this French couple is descending. Yeah, and I'm like looking up, going, "Look at this! He's coming right at me!" And I'm waiting for him to, you know, move out of the way. Rod Serling used to narrate that too, by the way. Cause still in the minute of the calypso, <laughs> getting into a brawl <laughs> with Opie. <laughs> That's what you hear in the distance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> translates to English, yeah. right? Pitiful portrait of a dopey diaper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that low. <laughs> Who's still in the men of the Calypso had to put uh, off the dive because low. weather wasn't permitting. But well, if you could Leonard Nimoy. They found a break in the weather and but went well. 60 feet under. Yeah. Leonard Nimoy was uh, the announcer for some of those After uh, Rod Serling died, he right. found it hard to narrate. Yes. Right, right, right. And they went to Spock. I am not Spock. Uh, so really fast, Leonard Jim. Nimoy. The French guy comes yeah. down. His tank nails me in the shoulder. I have an instant reaction. I'm pissed, and I push him. <laughs> the French man then uh, threw down his gear and surrendered so the, immediately. <laughs> right. So, so <laughs> that's exactly how it was. So he pushes me back. So I'm like, all right, now we got to fight. Guys, <laughs> 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 face mask, <laughs> spear gun coming off. <laughs> 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 
You had a great thing. All so, of a sudden, James Bond's a... So, <laughs> this is a true story. So, I punched, little aqua subs. I, I punched him 60 feet underwater. <laughs> but it was like a slow motion fight. You can't punch 60 feet underwater. Yeah, it's a $6 million yeah. man fight. <laughs> and then, um, so then I punched him, and then I guess uh, we just started wrestling. From that there point. was a brief struggle. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, red in the water, and the sharks come. Get off of me, Frenchie. <laughs> What's that smell? So, you know, then, you know, we're kind of like, I don't know, we're kind of wrestling underwater, rolling yeah. around a little bit. And they had to break us up, and then we yeah. went on our dive. And I just kept giving the guy shots as we went along. That was the last vacation. <laughs> That's like the the abbreviated version. How long was the boat ride back? Uh, the good news is he didn't speak English, so it was just us on the boat just staring, glaring at each other like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this guy wants to correct me. Uh, Mike, what's up? Good afternoon from uh, former WAF land. Hey, Boston area, what's up? Yeah, second uh, geography lesson. Russia is also on two continents, Europe and Asia. Oh, you got me. But if you want to see filth, Anthony, you should go to Italy. The reason Italy is shaped yeah. like a boot is because it's paved in dog bleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I see. Uh, you know something? I have no ambition to go to Europe. I really don't want to. I, if, I don't like I said, if I wanted to see Europe... Was, I realize because... You're, you're down on the level of one of Jerry's kids. You can't go around on your own. You can't order a meal. You can't read the newspaper. You can't watch the TV. You feel like a retard. You know what I did when I want to go to Europe? I do what I did. I went to Epcot. <laughs> I went to Epcot. I said, you know something? I sat in uh, the little English land place. Awesome and bar. I had a Guinness. I'm sitting there having a Guinness. Very English. Why do I have to go to England? Why should I? You know what was funny, though? A little fake animatronic car pulled up, uh, and it was an IRA uh, animatronic guy. And he... It, it was like a little fireworks show. It blew up in front of the bar, but everyone was fine. <laughs> everyone was fine. That's what I like about it. I saw the world. So it took me they have like a fake about an Irish hour and a half. Guy, about an Irish guy right. coming ticking. Yeah. <laughs> I was I wondering down. if I can get out of my run. Oh God, he's ticking. <laughs> I saw, I saw uh, Africa. I went right through there, and they did the, all the native dances right out front. That'd be it's idea. great. Jumbo. Uh, no fear of Ebola. No fear of, of yeah. somebody oh. hacking me up with a machete. Or, I was fine. I saw the world. I, Dude, bet, I, went to I bet you I bet, <laughs> of course. I bet you you didn't have explosive diarrhea like I had for four days. Oh. No, see? Right. Disney is part of America. <laughs> All right. Wait, I got a, that guy asked if I got any fights over vacation. Yeah. I, I do have to say that the Turkish uh, uh, Muslims are a bunch of pussies. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, hey, easy there, champ. I was, in, um, I was in one of their museums, an old palace that they turned into a museum of Parts of it, I guess, are a museum now. Yeah. And I'm checking out all the crap, the stuff they used to wear. I can't relate to anything. Jewels and <laughs> their old plates and stuff. Real old crap. From right. The, from it's the, old crap. No, it's called <laughs> relics, maybe. Whatever. <laughs> it mean a lot to these so, people. So you have to go back to... Uh, we got the music that Ant was doing. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, all right, because I, I walk into one of the rooms in the museum... And it was a pretty serious place because there's a guy in the corner with uh, what? What's the what, what's the Islamic Bible called? I don't know, the, uh, Quran. the Quran. The Quran. He's he's kind of singing passages from it. That's what I'm getting at. All right. As I walk in, right? Hold on, let me get the music. For you. Hey, hey. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I doesn't want to queue up. No, it doesn't want to at all because I just. Broke it. it. <laughs> Not French. <laughs> Dan from Hoboken, uh, once again, mm -hmm. chiming in with his Billy Hayes in Midnight Express. Remember that? Uh, where he goes, for a nation of pigs, it sure seems funny you don't eat them. Jesus Christ forgave the bastards, but I can't. I hate you. I hate you. I hate your nation. I hate your people. I F your sons and daughters because they are pigs. You're all pigs. That was Billy Hayes' little uh, opinion on of turkey. All right. So I <laughs> Great 
music. What do they do? They'll change the station. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> so I walk in, yeah. and, and I can tell right off the bat something serious is in this room because the music's playing and everyone's yeah. really serious. And they're looking at this one display case. Yeah. So no one will let me get close because how I look. Because they were, it was obviously a bunch of Muslims. Muslims. Yeah, you don't cla- you don't look like the stereotypical Muslim. So I finally get close enough to see what they're looking at, and I swear to you, they're claiming that they have beard hair of Muhammad, <laughs> the Muhammad, not Muhammad Ali, the Muhammad. Beard hair of Muhammad. Right. And w- wow. And, and what? How is that displayed? I don't know, like on a little thing with just hair sticking out. Sticking up like a small hairbrush. Yeah, a small toothbrush okay. type thing. Sure. It's his whiskers. Not a lot though. Like I'm, I'm talking maybe one, maybe two hairs, and they're That's all it? Just, they're all just staring like like it's the most unbelievable thing ever. So big mouth here. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, stop. <laughs> I'm, Don't even. I'm with Sandy, and I, I see the beard hair of Muhammad. The music's playing, and then the this place. is like Jesus' sandal or something. <laughs> oh yeah, right. oh yeah. And as la- and, oh, and I don't realize I have this I have this problem where I, I I speak too loud. Yeah. I think it's all these years of radio I can't hear anymore. Right. And I go to Sandy, but loud enough pretty much for the whole room to hear. I go, what's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> what's the big deal? <laughs> What's the big deal? What's the big deal? I feel like Jesus' beard hair or something. Yeah. What is that, cow hair? <laughs> right. Could what you, is that? Could you touch it? <laughs> no, no. It was in a, uh, that was the way Yeah, I would think it would get worn away. It, it was in a, like, four-by-four four glass case, and that was the only thing in it, in the middle yeah. of it. Like, well, what? they don't want you even getting close. I'm like, what's the big deal? No, don't touch <laughs> it. Don't even look at it. I, look, it's still got the old tagger on it. You know what? <laughs> no, no. Don't even look at it. <laughs> You know, you know, I, I said they're a bunch of pussies, but I think what saved my life was the fact they didn't understand English. Now that I think about it, yeah. yeah. They do mm. here. You know what though? If you're looking, if you were looking to kill an American though, and you're just looking through a crowd, you would stand out like, Bing, 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 American. Right. You just have that look. Like if if they wanted to, that's it. Hey man, we're just getting started. They're telling us we got to take a quick break. So. Yeah, Jim Brewer in the studio today. Brewer, this is very exciting. Thanks he's for hanging. He's going to go on tour starting tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. he's doing the rock and roll comedy tour. Tomorrow. Are you going to Turkey? I want you. <laughs> we're going to Istanbul and we're going to Kenya. <laughs> yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. Pick up some Ebola. Um, and and he's going to be coming to uh, the cows. He's going to be coming to a lot of the cities that we broadcast in. Hell yeah! He's starting uh, out on Long Island tomorrow night, and I, I'm hearing there's a, a few tickets still available. They're going to go really fast, so you guys are crazy. Uh, he's playing the Vanderbilt tomorrow night on Long Island. Yes. Do we have a phone number for the Vanderbilt if they want yeah. tickets real fast? Where they go through Ticketmaster? I could go through Ticketmaster. You're crazy if you don't see Brewer tomorrow night. A bunch of us are going to uh, to to represent. Yeah, we'll have some tickets to give away a little later, right? Then we're going to get drunk and fight some Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back. We're just getting started. So it's good to be back, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Anthony Show, New York, Dallas, Chicago, Philly, Cleveland, Columbus, Sacramento, San Francisco. The Empire is spreading. Conquerors, you bastards! Anthony Hooters! If you like hot girls in short shorts, juicy wings, great tasting beer, head down, oh, head on down to Hooters of Wayne. They ought to put a, a punctuation of some sort right there. Great tasting beer. I think the comma. I think come down to Hooter. I think the comma's in the wrong place. Right of Wayne for tomorrow's Wow Sticker Stop. Go and meet the road crew for your Wow Sticker and uh, stay and have a drink with the lovely girls of Hooters of Wayne. Van's going to be there between four and five p.m. Join the girls for their happy hour and unbeatable special of uh, buy ten wings get ten free. You can't go wrong. You'll have your Wow Sticker, your tasty wings, your favorite lager, and you'll be in good company with the chicks from Hooters of Wayne. There you go. This is a wow sticker stop. You can't miss that. It's tomorrow between 4 and 5 at Hooters of Wayne, located just south of the Willowbrook Mall on Route 23. Can you think of a better place to spend Whip Em Out Wednesday? Head on down. The girls from Hooters of Wayne await you. It's Hooters of Wayne. Opie Anthony. W-N-E-W. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. A little taste of gut smack. There you go. Bad Magic, great song, great album. One of my faves still. Jim Brewer in the studio. 
He's Pop hanging with us. He goes on uh, tour tomorrow. Long Island. Long Island tomorrow night to Vanderbilt. We're all going. Not many tickets available, so uh, yep. give the Vanderbilt a call or, or call Ticketmaster. I think it's like an 8, 9 o'clock show tomorrow night. Right. Right. No Turkish people. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey? No people from Turkey. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can do that. Let me go to the phone real fast. Anthony, what's up? Yeah, I just want to know if Muhammad's beard was holding up like a ball of 1,000 pounds, like a Superman force. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Or even worse yet, or even worse yet, that it smelled that thing. How old is that thing? Has it been touched, washed? It smells worse than like 17 of those tribe thin well, ends. You know what I'm talking no, about? I'm sure you no, just no. Hey, Muhammad. Crazy loves brewer, baby. Take it easy. All right. Muhammad's beard hair was, I don't know, like a case. Wasn't it wasn't even it was this it was like stubble. Yeah. It was like two hair stubbles. It's from Miami. In a make four by four it. case. Shouldn't sit there and make fun of it though, especially when you're in Turkey. I didn't understand. I'm glad it was nice and secure and that <laughs> four anywhere. by four case with some dude with some drapes on. <laughs> right. John, what's going on? Hey, I gotta know. Were the seven eleven zone by people from Wisconsin? <laughs> An interesting question. Over, did you visit a 7-Eleven in Turkey, and was there indeed a cheesehead running the running it? How you doing? I'll leave you, you actually be able to understand them. I'll give you a slurpee. They're right over there. <laughs> That's funny, John. Hey, we got a burrito. No 7-Elevens. Lots of McDonald's in Istanbul. And Pizza Hut, right? Uh, yeah, I did see a Pizza Hut there. Pizza they, Hut. They like their pizza. Pizza, pizza Hut and McDonald's. Hut. Yeah. Huge, yeah. That's right. something. What were you saying about Disney? What, that I, I, I that's went the there, that's where I went to vacation. That's how I get to see my uh, European... Oh, that's uh, what it was. That's yeah. how I visit the world, Opie. Through the magic of uh, Epcot and Disney engineering, I don't even have to leave uh, the country to see exactly what you saw. <laughs> you know, there's a, a Moroccan place. Eh, that's close enough. That's like Turkey, right? I smelled some curry <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> that was fine. I went to Mexico. <laughs> And, um, right, you sit, you know something, you go in the building, it looks like you're outside at night. They paint the ceiling like a dark blue, there's some stars in there. There's even a goddamn volcano cooking by a big, uh, isn't there pyramid. Isn't there and people go by in the boats, brewer, yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm going like, why do I have to worry about, uh, having, uh, diarrhea from the water when I'm right here in Mexico? And then I walk out the door, I walk a few steps, I'm in Paris. Look, there's even an Eiffel Tower. You're missing the true experience, though, Anthony. They wipe down the um, the, the garbage pails uh, in Disney, Opie, by the way. The garbage pails, they're full of garbage, but they're clean. <laughs> I don't even know how the hell they do it. But it's spotless clean. Germany. Germany, they got that. They got the Oktoberfest going all the time. You don't have to. Look, like, if I was going to Germany, and let's say it was March, I'd be S out of luck. <laughs> but Oktoberfest, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It was August. It's always October. It's Oktoberfest. Hey, Oktoberfest. <laughs> I just don't understand how they have, like, <clears throat> there was a black guy working at the German place. And then uh, I, I saw, like, a, a de definitely a, um, a Jewish guy uh, working in Italy. I was like, what's that all about? You want some Venus schnitzel? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're very politically correct. At Disney. Okay. Sure, you went on, on a cruise and saw the world. I saw the world. The world is yes. <laughs> I saw the world the way Disney wants it to be seen. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. You know, I saw the uh, Indiana Jones stunt show there at MGM. <laughs> and one of the German soldiers, again, was a black guy. I didn't care. It took me right out of the whole thing that he was a German soldier. I didn't care, though. It was great. Everything clean. I walked down their fake streets. I don't worry about being accosted or anything like that. It's a good time. But no one had the moles, Anthony. No, they put fake moles on the people from uh, that are supposed to be from Turkey. <laughs> fake moles on their face. Animatronic moles designed by Disney engineers to look exactly like real moles. China? Did you see China? I went to China. Big temples, Opie. And little kids spinning plates with, like, silk, silk scarves on sticks doing acrobatics. I, why go to China? Why spend how many hours on a plane? to get to China, for God's sake. When I could just two hours, I'm in Florida, bam. 
I'm, a, I'm in Disney. I'm, I might as well be in China. And you know, they're all cast members. They're not employees down there. And Brewer, you said you went to Africa? You know something? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, the I cast went, members. Cast members. I went... <laughs> When I moved to Florida, yeah, I lived in Tampa, and I was, Orlando had MGM and Universal Studios. Yeah, so I went. Wow, I'm breaking the movies. I'm the dog. There you go. <laughs> I got swearing my daughter. We go driving to Orlando. We get there, and we, you know, we're filling out applications. There's a whole lot of people, and you're checking out the whole crew. Right. It's all Florida fans. <laughs> <laughs> I got the whole Long Island. I'm in Florida. Look, it's right. rocking. I'm totally a star. I stand out. I'm filling out the thing. Your Judas, actor. Your, your Judas Priest concert. Actor. Well, yeah. all right, actor. I say uh, special things you could do. You know, karate, swim, whatever you do. Well, dude, I'm sitting in this big room, and I swear to you, this guy comes up, and he goes, you know, he's in a suit, and he goes, I understand you're auditioning. And uh, I saw you from across. Here's who I want you to talk to. I want you to talk to Danny. And you saw him. Larry sent you. And I'm like, he gives oh my me God, car. Larry sent me, right? And You're I'm, in. I'm in. I'm in Paramount. I'm working with Eddie Murphy. And right. <laughs> forget it. I'm in Beverly Hills Cop 3. <laughs> Of course, you made it. You, made it. you Just got like it that. in now. You got it in. Here we go. Dude, Larry calls me in. Yeah. I'm already walking like a dick. I'm already looking at the entire room behind me going, I wasn't even here 10 minutes. Good night. Ooh, losers, right? Dicks. I, I get in. in there. Dude, they go, uh, they go well, uh, we really need some people uh, downstairs, some janitorial. Oh, no. And, uh, and or, you know, fixing the Bugs Bunny ride, whatever ride they had. They want me to do it. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you might have got the wrong yeah. guy. I'm the actor I'm guy. The actor. I know Larry now. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, he sent me. And he goes, um, you know, I said, I'm cast member. And he goes, yeah, well, all the employees are cast members. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, don't be a dick. What are you talking about? <laughs> the guy that like, cleans all the garbage and keeps them shiny. Everyone it says, Ed, cast member. cast member, and he so, says where he's from on his badge. Instead of, I can't tell you, I guarantee you, a lot of people working there yeah. went to be an actor <laughs> and still believe they're working their way up. But that working guy told me, he's like, listen, you start here, right, and then you work. We have a lot of big shows coming here. Nickelodeon's coming here next yeah, year. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. Wasn't uh, who started out? I'll tell you who started out. Uh, 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 what's his name from The Jerk? And uh, Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Martin started out working as a cast member in Disneyland, California. Oh. And and see that? There I'm sure go. he had a clean up and that's why he's still pissed <laughs> <laughs> they got me they got me damn it <laughs> hey scott you're next on the opie and anthony show welcome back guys thank you hey it's so i'm relieved to hear that black german ed with the bullet in his head has found gainful employment in disney world yeah <laughs> yeah you said that you were surprised that the german guy was black yeah well yeah they had like a they got the uh, indiana jones stunt show well, you know yeah and i'm watching it and uh and, the well, guy in the machine gun nest <laughs> shooting at them in a German uniform, a Nazi, Ger but uh, not Nazi uniform because for some reason I remember last time I went, the truck had a swastika flag on it. That was right. gone this time. Yeah, now it's right. like an iron cross. They kind of took the little pieces off the swastika. Oh, they kind of straightened it out. Yeah, straighten that cross, <laughs> straighten, straighten that out. twisted cross <laughs> out. <laughs> straighten that out. And we've offended some people with our accuracy in we German uniforms. So damn politically correct. No, it's a small that. world after all. Now we're going to try to Thanks, uh, Scott. adjust history. Well, uh, another Disney thing has been changed. I just read this today. <laughs> Disneyland in uh, California, uh, the Jungle Cruise ride. The person, the tour guide, no longer can shoot at the hippopotamus with the pistol. Remember, the hippos would come out and go, oh, no. Right, 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 right. They shoot and go, oh, that was a close one. We're going past these ominous looking plastic uh, elephants. And uh, they, they got ten complaints. Ten complaints. You know how many people are in and out of uh, Millions. Disneyland? Millions. <laughs> right. Ten Millions. complaints about the gun. Oh. I don't want my kids to see gun. So now they don't shoot at uh, anything. Not in the air as a one shot. Because you might harm the plastic hippopotamus who goes under the water and bubbles come out of the head. <laughs> kind of takes you out of things. <laughs> it's politically correct, it is. But the, yeah, the black guy was the German guy at the machine gun nest. <laughs> but, but we know a black German guy is what that guy was saying. Oh, you drunk German Ed with a bullet hole in his head. Yeah. And he was in the German army. Did we play that during worst stuff? 
Oh, uh, we should. You know, let me tell you something. So, I think the German Army a little different now than it was when Indiana Jones stunt show was supposed to take place. All right. I don't think Adolf, you know, he'll take the old people and little Hitler, little Hitler youth kids. I don't think he was taking black guys. In the German, I don't think the Third Reich was going to rest on the back of the black people as far as Hitler was concerned. Oh, I saw. Hey, come on. You guys are crazy. Man. Hey, Steed. What's Get up? me some schmatzes. <laughs> no, it nice wasn't going to happen. Man. Hey, I just wanted to sing a, an old song for Anthony. Yeah. Okay. And it goes... It's a small world after Dang, all. Get out of here. It's, I hope it, it hurts, man. No, you know something? I think it was closed down. I think they're actually yeah, phased sure, out. Yeah, sure. You probably ran on it, man. <laughs> they phased out Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. What can we expect from them next? There's a lot of people that don't know that you hate that song, though. Yeah, because it, it, the ride goes forever. Anything cool, like, takes two seconds. You get on some of those coasters and stuff, you go... <laughs> hey, I'm done. Holy jeez, that was... Point three seconds of the most fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it's a small world, though. Huh. Forever. Forever. Just when you think you're round in the last turn and the little the little Chinese kids are... Bang, 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 bang. And it's just the Mexican kids with the eyes painted different. They all in a different uniform. Just when you think around and... Oh, it's Australia. It's a world of laughter, a world of cheer. It's a world of hope and a world... Hey, you're around another corner. You're in Mexico. You're around another one. And it just, it zigzags through this. I swear to God, I, I, it, shut up! <laughs> it doesn't end, yeah. But thank God. And just in case you don't get enough of the song during the ride, the hour-long line you stand on to get into this piece of crap, the song's playing on the line. There's speakers hidden in the bushes. <laughs> right. While you zigzag like the cattle in and out of this line, you're hearing that song. I like to look at it, the broke kid, though. It looks like a retard. Like the one kid's arm ain't working. So it's just going... <laughs> or his head is going like he's got water on the brain. Just falling over slightly sideways. One eye shut. Come on! <laughs> I thought we were talking about Disney and not the third one. I know. I'm some of the broken puppets. And uh, another thing about uh, uh, Disney. Turn it off. Turn it off! <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> yeah, that was me. Turn it off! Turn it off! Yeah, that was me. I'd rather hear this. <laughs> um, but I did, I did, I did have a great time, you know, because I like being taken care of in that whole Disney-like, uh, harmless atmosphere where everything's nice. They take care of you. The hotel room, impeccably clean and beautiful. But they got to do something about updating some of the stuff. They updated uh, Tomorrowland, thank God, because it was what, like the it 80s? was like Walt's 1960 version of the future. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Oh, the flying rocket things. <laughs> Hi, but boy, rockets really look like that. Walt, <laughs> good job predicting the future. You know, just awful. Oh, so, look, airplane! Wow. Wow. It's got one wing. It'll never fly. <laughs> it's uh. So they updated some of that stuff, but they got to update. Like, you go on the ridiculous rides, too, because you run out of the cool rides to go on. Real you, fast. You, you find yourself on, like, <laughs> E.T.'s e e e Adventure, you know? <laughs> wait, wait, that's when we were in a little bike, right? <laughs> yeah. No, well, you're on this big thing that <laughs> they try to make it look like a yeah. bike. You're with 20 other people sitting on this ridiculous bike. Like a big, crazy basket. <laughs> to yeah, carry E.T. The e front front see E.T.'s head come off. <laughs> yeah, it's his head! <laughs> Because you got to take them back to the planet. No. <laughs> right. So, uh, <laughs> wait, there is a cool thing. You have yeah. to say your name before you go in. Cause what the, the hell was that about? E.T. says goodbye to you. At the yeah. end, yeah. yeah. That's I the, didn't even that's notice the best that. Part of the ride. He didn't, he didn't say goodbye it. to me. I blew it. it. You blew it. I'm, you blew it. <laughs> I gave him a fake name because I was paranoid. <laughs> goodbye, Anthony. Is that what he yes. does? Brewer just solved a riddle that we were wondering about. Uh, all week. Of course that's what it is. I, they go, you need your passport yeah, to, right. to, to get on this bicycle thing to ride through E.T. land there. So so uh, they go, what's your name? And the, this woman, there's a line of people. I know. I'm like, this could really speed up if they don't ask you your goddamn name. <laughs> and she types in your name. But I didn't mind waiting because I thought they were going to send something back to the hotel, like free booze or something. 
<laughs> oh my no, seriously, God. I'm Thanks like, for coming. It's like, wow, if they're taking all this time to get my name, they're going to yeah. give me some. Cool. You know, if I knew that was the case, I would have said I was Michael Hunt. <laughs> and I would have used the short version, Mike. You're because the CCP sit there and say, goodbye, Mike. Yeah, Mike. But they got to update because you go into the, this E.T. thing, yeah. and all of a sudden it's like it's going to start with a short film. And you look, uh, turn to your left, please. Do it now, or will you? Uh, the screen, uh, the movie starts. Who is it? Hi, I'm Steven Spielberg, and I want to tell uh. No, no. Now, that's Steven Spielberg's son. Yeah. How <laughs> old is this effing movie? It's like little Steven Spielberg. He's 11. Little Stevie Spielberg. Check out my new movie, Duel, which will be <laughs> coming out in theater TV movie on ABC. <laughs> Man. Oh, my God. Hey. Awful. Paul, what's up? What's going on, guys? Hey. Um, I was in Disney last week myself, and did you notice that there were about a two by two effing box where you could smoke because they banned it in the parks. Oh yeah, yeah, they banned uh, smoking. So you know, Epcot, it's all outdoors. You can't just walk around smoking. There are these painted off areas where the dregs of society, the smoker, <laughs> has to go stand and be ridiculed hey. by uh, the likes of everybody. Hey, else. Because let's face it, the smoke knows where to stay. <laughs> <laughs> there were kids yeah. walking by, pointing at me and laughing because I was standing in this little box. Yeah, you like stand, have to kid. stand in the little box and be ridiculed as you're smoking. I saw some woman, uh, you know, just she she was in this little box with a stroller leaning over her baby carriage with a cigarette in her mouth with a two-inch ash on it right over her baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ma, I need more money! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. All right, we'll break again. All right. <laughs> We're yeah, having that, fun. That E.T. ride sucks if you're a stoner and you don't know, you didn't hear that E.T. day. <laughs> just said my name, dude. Dude, think about how big they are. Why would they ask your name? Why would they ask it? <laughs> Why would they ask it? You tell me then. We gave, me and my girlfriend gave fake names. Swear to God. I didn't know what the hell they're using this for. Like, hey. <laughs> they give me a card with a, it's got a UPC code on the back of it. I'm looking at it going, hey. And then I even asked it, I go, What's your number on your card? And I go, oh, different numbers, which means they're not just pressed out one kind of goof card. Dude, they got our fingerprints. They man. do on the card. Holy say, Jesus, they, they do. Fingerprints. They, they must dust every card they off. Fingerprints. You hold it, they got your fingerprints. Think about this. You ever go to, when you come back to the ride, all they do is just put you under the laser. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Check it with laser. Right. I'm telling you, man. It's the Disney conspiracy, man. Let's get high and talk about <laughs> the aliens. <laughs> it's a small world after all. Uh, let's, let's break. We'll be back, though. We're having a really good time today. Yeah. Brewer. Uh, heading out, we're going to miss him, man. He's doing his rock and roll comedy tour. It starts tomorrow night at the Vanderbilt on Long Island. A few tickets still available. We're all going, so uh, give Shut the Vanderbilt up. a call. <laughs> or, or Ticketmaster. We will own the world. <laughs> Shut up, Jaffy, for a punch in your penis. <laughs> and join us tomorrow night for a rock and roll party with Mr. Brewer. Mm. Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> award-winning Opie and Anthony show. This has got to be a joke, people. Ah, uh, Anthony, Sam Adams. I, I want to start this live read by wishing Jim the best. He was in a horrific bike accident. What? Broke his uh, wrist. Uh, Jim Cook? Broke a few ribs. Uh, a motorcycle? Hurry, because you know what's even it? funnier about it? He claims he wasn't drunk, but he was uh, in Boston on like the BU Bridge and just totally yeah. wiped out. Passed he wiped out. I'm a biker, dude. <laughs> like my great grandfather used to say, wear a helmet, dumbass. Can, can we get Jim Brewer to call the uh, Jim Brewer, uh, uh, Jim Cook to call the show today? We got to get him uh, to tell a story about yeah, how I he crashed his bike on the BU Bridge. Well, <laughs> you're gonna love uh, <laughs> Sam Adams. <laughs> Sam Adams. They had a great little. Uh, jam party there at the uh, brewery and eh, we, we'll talk to him about it if we get him on the phone but you'll love it we drink it here we love it brewer i'm you bringing love it. on tour with me that's, that's right that's right my whole tour i what they say what do you want on the bus i said sam adams, sam adams. the station for four guys on opie and anthony and ron and fez is the station 1027 wnew new york 
And we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Crystal Method, Anthony, name of the game. Yeah. The new CD rocks, yo. Jim Brewer in the studio today. Ah, uh, yeah. Feeling good being back from vacation, huh? And someone has to explain to me the uh, the toilet sink. <laughs> toilet sink. I was in um, Athens. The only toilet sink I ever know of is when you're uh, you're at the game and the uh, urinals are too full, <laughs> and you exactly. you use the sink. Oh, should I tell my story? All the stories. What? Absolutely. This is a great Long Island story. Yeah. It was in um, near the roller rink in uh, in uh, in uh, no in uh, Northport, East Northport. There was a roller rink. <laughs> right on uh, 25A there. All right. A little further down, there was a bar that was really uh, hopping mm -hmm. back in the day when I was in college. And uh, <laughs> I was a freshman, and uh, me and my bud, Rob, we went out with these two girls that we barely knew. This wasn't a gay friend that you mentioned on the 2020 interview, was it? <laughs> no. No? Okay, just checking. Just checking. We'll get into that later. <laughs> You're such a dick. All right. Just All right. got to check. No, Rob was not the, uh, the gay friend. <laughs> okay. So uh, me and him were uh, double dating with these girls, and we're just slamming pitchers getting hammered. <laughs> hammered. Hammered. And uh, we are just gone. The place is happening. It's happy hour. And we barely know the girls, but we're thinking at this point we're going to get lucky. You're in. Absolutely. So, so I have to. I have to. in the bathroom to go, dude. Yeah. I'm in. We're yeah, in. Yeah. How's it going with your chick? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already back out three times. <laughs> so, so I'm like, hey, I'll be right back. And I go to the bathroom. And I literally staggered to the bathroom, man. And uh, like Anthony just said, all the urinals were taken. I'm like, ah, screw this. You know, it's, it, I think it's this type of place. So I whip it out and sink. Sink, sink action. It. Sure. Bouncer catches me. Yeah. Uh, Grabs me by my the back of my neck and he's got me, and he drags me. He goes, I go, wait, wait, I, I, I'm I'm here with some friends, right? Drags me to the table where I'm where my buddy's sitting, just like just can't wait to get out of there. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna get some action, and the two girls are there. I have to tell uh, these three people that we just got kicked out of the bar, and I had to tell them why. Oh no, his face is all red. Yeah. <laughs> That'll ruin it. Oh, end of date. Drive us home. <laughs> Real Drive <quiet>. us home. <laughs> you poor bastard. True story, man. You're, oh. you're nuttier than I... Oh, hell yeah. We, 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 need, we just need a little music for um, right. our next... Uh, All right, hold on. Hold our on. next guest. Hold on, next guest. Hold on. <laughs> we just need a little music for him before it? we pop down the phone All right. line. All right. You never know who's going to call the radio show, Anthony. <laughs> Let's get him uh, here. Hey, Jim Cook. Jim Cook from Sam Adams. Hey, guys. <laughs> there he is. Uh-oh, I think I'm about to be embarrassed again. No. <laughs> Hold on a second, Jim. Hold on. Your music yeah. is playing. You're looking for adventure. And whatever comes up. Yeah. Walk it off, dick. Well, um, Jim? Yes. Hey, uh, now I was just informed that you you had a little bit of a little bit of an accident. Yeah, it was one of the stupid things you do when you're sober. <laughs> but I never hurt myself drinking. You guys know that. No, of course not. It's only when you're sober that you get into trouble. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Now, um, I, I know I know you, Jim. You love uh, drinking your wonderful Sam Adams, but you have people drive you around. You drink Sam Adams. Yeah, usually. And uh, now you were you were on a motorcycle. No, I wish it was on a motorcycle. It was a weenie mountain bike. <laughs> Wait, no, okay. it wasn't a real bike. So it was a bicycle. It was a weenie little bicycle. <laughs> Hey, this wrecks our whole bit, Jim. I know, I know. I didn't have a okay. leather jacket. I just had those stupid little tight pants. Oh, 
Uh, it wasn't a real helmet, you know. It was one of those little lightweight bike helmets. Well, uh, this was an embarrassing way to break a few ribs and howdy. crack my hand. Faggot. <laughs> Got ourselves a pretty yeah. little faggot. <laughs> You're on a yeah, bike. looked like I was in a Cherry Hill mall or something. <laughs> bring, oh, bring, oh, bring, boy. bring. Look out. <laughs> bring, 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 bring. So, yeah. so you, you're riding your... Uh, <laughs> uh, walk us through what happened, Jim. Well, you know, it was, uh, you know, Boston, I was riding around the Charles River on that bike path. It yeah. was like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, really early, a Sunday morning. Beautiful day, river beautiful. And I'm riding along, and next thing I know, I'm on the ground, my bike's there, uh, my helmet's cracked, and I'm like... Wow, I should have had a beer. What? It's going to hurt for you, too. <laughs> what did you hit? You know, I have no idea. I got a concussion. Wait a minute. You're just riding, and then all of a sudden you're off your bike. Yeah. No <laughs> recollection. It was not a drug flashback. No. It was completely sober. Like, I think the only thing that could happen like that is one of those little guy wires that come down from the telephone poles. If you yeah. hit that with your throat. Either that or, like, you're just hanging and, like, you know, when your pants get stuck in a chain, uh, you're realizing also... So one of the worst kind of bicycle accidents were also... Remember the one... I, I saw a couple of girls did this years and years ago uh, when I was a kid. They were ride bars <laughs> with their feet dang... The carpus gets creamed and the bike gets the head. Oh, that's and a bad the bike thing. does the header, yeah. So now, I heard Dolly Parton was riding a bike and hit a bump and gave herself two black eyes. But um, bump. There you go, Jim. Stick, stick to making beer. <laughs> All right. Now, Jim, uh, so you're laying on the ground. Yeah. You got a concussion. What else? What other injuries? Uh, I broke two ribs. Uh, oh. broke my hand. So I got a cast on. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, I, I should stick to the drinking. Did you have Did you have those dopey tight bicycle pants on? So you're just laying there with your junk just hanging out. Exactly. Yes, it was really embarrassing when the paramedics came and they hauled you away. Did you, Did they know who you were? Uh, yeah, I told him when I was in the ambulance. And the guy's, Wow, can I get some free beer? And he didn't care. I could have had. You know, paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah. Yeah. Can I come to the brewery and pick up some beer? Hey, I got uh, audio of the emergency. Oh, yeah. Uh, they came upon him. And this is what they had. Walk it off, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to hurt. It was bad. Yeah, I, I have a, a passerby that saw it happen. Yeah. Stupid! You're so stupid! Really, this was a guy in uh, a cab, Oh, yeah? <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> It was not a really dignified way to break no. a couple of ribs. Oh, Jesse Jackson giving him some advice. Stay out the bushes. <laughs> Stay out the bushes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wasn't even man. looking for empties or anything. <laughs> no. Don't. <laughs> but oh, you're feeling man. better, Jim. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I actually had a couple of beers. I felt a yeah, lot better. Well, you know something? Your fine Sam Adams makes any pain go away. It worked. It actually worked. I forgot about the concussion and the broken ribs. Yeah. And life was pretty good again. Hey, Anthony. As long as you didn't bang your junk up. <laughs> You're no, that, 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 that was hit okay. Hit that curb and the back wheel just oh, pops up. And your oh, up. yeah. <laughs> no, it hits your taint. Oh. Your taint. oh God, you can't that's... even cry. You just go. <laughs> the taint injury. <laughs> <laughs> I did get him to put a bottle opener in the cast. Oh, really? I have a built-in bottle opener on my cast. <laughs> you can just open bottles at your cast. Yeah, I feel like Captain Hook. You know, I can't use my hand, but I can use this bottle opener. Ta <laughs> That's handy. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it would have been really desperate. I would have tried to open them with my teeth. <laughs> oh, we had uh, Jim Cook right as he was uh, crashing. Sweet, merciful crap! <laughs> <laughs> I wish. And another uh, ambulance worker. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Is this true? I was uh, walking right by the accident scene. Oh. Your balls are showing. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> oh, Jim. It was completely embarrassing. Hey, one, one, of, the, one like... of the brothers from Dorchester. Yeah. You got knocked the f*** out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lefty up. <laughs> no, our brewery's right by those guys. Those guys would have helped me out. Yeah. Look, look at me localizing for Boston, too. Yeah, that, that is very good. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Jim. Well, uh, I'm glad to hear uh, you're okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted you guys call up with all this sympathy. <laughs> you know, next time you could just send flowers, it would be okay. <laughs> okay. This is how we show our love. You know that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. More, more audio of Jim Cook after the accident. Anyway, no! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Well, I'm glad you guys weren't in the ambulance. I'm over here now. Yeah, let me step on his nuts. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, of course, Jim saying, uh, Ouch! <laughs> that had to hurt. You know, I don't think he was thinking uh, clearly after the accident. Really? Right? Why, Opie? Uh, listen to this. I need to go pooping! <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. There's no room in those shorts. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. They can't do that. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. well, Jim, I, uh, think, I think your time in the barrel is just about yeah, up, and you did yeah. pretty well. Take care of yourself. Oh, hold on, this guy. No more bicycling. Uh, uh, Rich, what's up? Oh, where's, lost, where's Rich? We lost Rich. Okay. Did he go away? Did you damage? <laughs> Craig wants to know. Did you? Did, did, what? what is it? Uh, Craig wants to know, Jim, if you damaged the basket on the front of your bike. <laughs> yeah. With the little yeah. sunflower that's curled yeah, up. And the little. Yeah. Right. Well, Jim, you uh, take care. Have a beer uh, for us. All right. We, All right. We, we wish we could have been in Boston, but we were on vacation, so. Yeah, you did okay. We had a great time at the brewery. Cool. We didn't have Darva this year, but we did have Matt Damon. That's cool. So there were some good people, but we'll bring you guys to Boston and we'll have some fun. Hey, uh, audio of Jim with a concussion in the hospital, ain't Yeah. Huh? I hate this place. Nothing works here. The medications don't work. I've been here for seven years. And really not making much sense. Poor Jim. No. Poor Jim just laying on the ground. Oh, oh, help me! Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! Help me! Help me! Hey, I got more audio of Jim right yeah. after the accident. Yeah, here we go. Wow, I need a drink! <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this sobriety is not what it's cracked up to be. Yeah. So. And uh, some of Jim's uh, final words before uh, being taken away. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> uh, well, I'm uh, glad you guys are syndicated now and I can be humiliated across the country. <laughs> I'm delighted for that. Jim Cook, uh, and please stick to brewing... That fine beer of yours. I will do my and, best, man. And keep off the bicycle. <laughs> what are you bicycling right. for? You're like, you're you're in shape. You're not fat or anything. I know. Well, I didn't have anything to do. It was early in the morning. Drink I should have had a beer. <laughs> should have had a beer. From now on, at 6.30 on Sunday mornings, I'm opening a beer. <laughs> through the exercise. Hey, Jim, help us out. First day of uh, school back there in Boston at all the colleges. Yeah. How hot are the girls walking the streets right now? Very nice, because the yeah. weather's warm, so they're not, like, all dressed up. Well, we do have uh, Jim talking to one of the young college co-eds <laughs> right after he put his bicycle uh, wear on. So what do you think of my tight pants? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see every painful detail of my muscular physique? Wow, you were pretty cocky before the crash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I had a Sam Adams in my pants. Yeah. It was the 12-ounce long neck that I was proud of. <laughs> hey, Jim, oh, an ambulance driver? We have uh, right here. What is your major malfunction, nut nut? <laughs> yeah, they're so friendly here in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, this is really wild. I got a cop uh, giving Jim the business after the accident. Really? Because he was backing up traffic and stuff. Marijuana is a narcotic, <laughs> medically and legally. It never did anybody any good and does everybody a lot of harm. Uh, the last thing Jim heard before something hit him. I... <laughs> <laughs> My head hurts. Alright. <laughs> 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 Uh, more audio of Jim with, with the concussion. <laughs> with the concussion, Anthony. I got, I got thought of a kind of brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well. Look, Only you guys could make a concussion funny. <laughs> yeah. This abuse sponsored by <laughs> Sam Adams. Sam Adams. There you go. All right, Jim, take care of yourself, all right? I will. God love you guys. Stay I hope you had a good time on vacation. Oh, hold yeah, on, Jim. Did. I just want to play a little something for you before you go. All right. Show our love. Bicycle, bicycle. 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 Bicycle
<laughs> All right. I'm humiliated. I'm buying a Harley tomorrow. <laughs> All right, all right. He's taking enough of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jim. Take care, Jim. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We look forward to your next screw-up. <laughs> oh, yeah. It won't be long. <laughs> there he is. Brewer of Sam Adams, Jim Cook. We, we like to call him, him Mr. Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my George. Magoo, you've done it again. Oh, <laughs> oh, eh, I seem to have fallen on my bicycle. Ah, me go. Oh, eh. Thank you, Jim. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we just beat him down. I know. We just beat him down. Uh, gotta love that guy, though, man. Guy is, I don't know how, multi quadrillionaire with his Sam well, Adams. He, he was... cooked it up in a sink years ago, uh, and, and now it's a, a beer empire. And he's still just a regular guy. <laughs> A regular poor son of a bitch crashing his bicycle. <laughs> Al, what's up? Yes, I wanted to ask Jim who finished delivering his newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. All right. That was funny. Well, when we get yeah, back to uh, Steve from Staten Island saying they ought to uh, make a new beer. Uh, a Slam Adams with a picture of him, <laughs> him on his bicycle with his, <laughs> with his cast. And with his cast. <laughs> Here comes Slam! Slam Adams. That's it should work it into his new uh, commercials, I think. Slam Adams. Hi, I'm Jim Cook, brewer of Sam Adams. Ow, my ass hurts. <laughs> Next time, I'm just going to drink beer. It's like my great-grandfather used to say, get off the effing bike, you tool. <laughs> drink a beer. Take your I shirt off. I was very injured, and my shoes fell off, and I lost my glasses. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Poor guy. All right. We love him. When we right. get back, could someone explain the toilet sink to me? All right, the toilet sink. That's what we were man, getting into it before. <laughs> I'm not lying. My head hurts. He's, a, he's great. Hey, hey, Rick, there's the first bit for Saturday show. <laughs> he, ta he, he takes the abuse oh. well. He sat it out. <laughs> he just sat there. He knew he had to take it. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're a part of this show, you're going to spend some time in the barrel. Opie and Anthony. What do you think this show is? It's a mix between a curious bemusement and outright horror. It's absolutely disgusting. It's awful. Filth and trash. It's really bad, but it's really good. The Opie and Anthony Show. Truly tasteless and not funny. Hey, guys, real fast, just for New York, we got a pair of tickets to see Jim Brewer tomorrow night at the Vanderbilt as he kicks off his tour, man. It's going to be great. We're all going to be there. Tickets still available, but not many. But if you want a free pair, give us a call right now, okay? Right to see Jim Brewer. You know the phone number. Anthony, Smackdown. WWF Smackdown. Smackdown live on UPN tonight, Tuesday night, ever since Kurt Angle turned Stone Cold Steve Austin Appreciation Night into a Milkomania, the... Alliance leader had payback on his mind. That's right. Last week, the rattlesnake exacted some revenge when he stole Kurt Angle's Olympic gold medals and threw him into the river. Damn you! What uh, will Stone Cold Steve Austin have in store for Kurt tonight? Find out on uh, SmackDown Live tonight on UPN. Also, uh, WCW champ The Rock. Uh, gonna be that. What, what the hell is that gonna be? Uh, uh, WCW owner Shane McMahon will do anything in his power to eliminate the biggest threat to the success of the alliance. WCW champion The Rock, Booker T. Look, you know what's happening. Tune in to SmackDown live tonight on uh, UPN. OP Anthony. 1027. WCW. Gorillas. Clint Eastwood and Rock. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Jim Brewer in the studio. We still have lots to do today. My head hurts. <laughs> My head hurts. That was uh, fun talking with Jim Brewer, wasn't it? Uh, Jim Cook. Cook. Uh, Jim Cook. Cook. You know what? Yeah, we always say that because he is a brewer. Uh, he is Jim, and he is a he brewer. Is, he's Jim and a brewer. Here is Brian. <laughs> Brian. Uh, How do you do that? <laughs> says, says on instant feedback. I hear before Jim Cook crashed his bike, he heard E.T. say his name. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that. He's calling back to something happened earlier in the show. Let's get <laughs> high and talk about aliens. Well, we got a bad copy alert, Anthony. We like to do this from time to time. Bad copy alert. Yeah, we, we do live reads for uh, for our radio show. Yeah. And um, uh, we, we got some copy in front of us uh, for the fine station that we're on in Philadelphia, WISP. And, a, and for a guy that we really like, Dr. Pistone. Dr. Pistone, of course. You know who Dr. Pistone is, right, Ant? Yes, I do. He takes care of your head if you're going bald. He takes care of your boobs if you got man boobs. Right. He takes care of your fat gut if you need that sucked out. Something tells me I think I know where this is going. So it's bad copy. People uh, people think we'll just read anything. <laughs> now, is this from a salesperson in Philly? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh-oh. <laughs> I already know where this is going. This, is this, could be, this could be worse than our own Lisa Orban's uh, copy oh, yeah. you know, here at our own station. You know how some of the commercials have to have that cute little scenario before they get into the info for the, uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the thing? Yeah, those are the ones we call the... Um, the uh, Steve C. Homo commercials. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right? When, when he's hanging out at Hooters with Jimmy? Yeah. See, Jimmy, uh, Steve and Jimmy are the production guys, and they put together a lot of the commercials. And sometimes instead of just, you know, in facts about Hooters, you want a cute little scenario. Like a short little movie. <laughs> a little a little docudrama. Right. I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's like Steve and Jimmy sitting there going, Hey, Jim, where do you want to go for lunch? I don't know. How about Hooters? <laughs> hey, I love Hooters. Like, you know, so you're starting to... Feel their character and their acting, right, yeah. Steve? Let me pull up my shorts. Let's get some wings. <laughs> <laughs> do you still have that Hooters thing? Cause that's yeah, I do, actually. It's get uh... your mouth away from that glory <laughs> hole. We're going to Hooters, you know? Yeah. Like, they build a little story. <laughs> Can you find it real fast or yeah. no? Yeah, yeah. Wipe right. that splooge off your face. We're going to Hooters, <laughs> right? Like your pals just hanging. <laughs> it's a thing. Where are you going? <laughs> He's going to get the Hooters thing. Okay, good. Joe, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. You forgot something very important about the fine doctor. Yeah. He can give curly hair to Asians. No. Well, no, he doesn't do that, but he knows a guy that does that in uh, Asia. Right. Think he can hook me up? It's because Asian guys don't have chest hair, and, and the, the Asian women love the They the love chest hairy hair. men. Right. So what they do is they take a <laughs> transplant from uh, the uh, pube area <laughs> and uh, transplant curly hair <laughs> to the chest. They could also do it down there because if if a guy if a girl likes a hairy guy, they could take hair from your scalp where they would take a hair plug and dump it in your groin. Dude, scratch a couch and play with your donkey. <laughs> Come back to reality, man. Lose some of that money. You're bugging out. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> Asian women love the hairy chest. Anyway, so. Uh, so, um... Mr. a honey. <laughs> the, I'll buy hair, put it on chest. The, the, the fine salesperson down there in Philly, uh -oh. you know, we're going to be doing a live read for the fine doctor, Dr. Pistone. Now, wait a minute. I could see through this copy, kind of, and what I'm seeing is a script. Oh, yeah. Am I seeing a script with Opie and oh, Lines yeah. and Anthony and Lines? See, oh, this yeah. would be a good time to tell yeah. all the new cities. We don't, we don't do scripts because oh, they yeah. all come out really bad. Yeah, we never do the script. Did thing. So, so the. <laughs> God, this is great. Oh no! So uh, you're gonna get a lot more of these. No, <laughs> yeah. no. But we won't do any. They, I'm they can gonna send them. write because I, I listen to show all the time. Let me see. Opie, this is totally what he would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they do. And then we'll have. Rick laugh in the back. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And then Anthony will say this. Dude, he's going to love this, and they're going to hire me. All right. Yeah, they're going to love this. So the script starts <laughs> with lead in. Lead in. There's a lead in 80s music playing. All right. 80s music. Yo, two shots shy. Hush, hush. Are you right? It could be like Shout. A... Shout. <laughs> la, 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 la. But maybe it's like 80s metal or something. Oh, that kind of 80s? You got another Late. thing coming. Late 80s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's it. All right. What? What the hell? For a goof, let's uh, let's play the '80s music. Where's the '80s music? Uh oh. Yeah. There you go. That's cool. Here's my line. I got the bandana tied around my uh, my head. All right. Here's the '80s music playing. All right. If they had it their way, this would be a commercial running in, in Philadelphia. <clears throat> Hey Anthony, they sure they sure knew how to rock in the 80s. 
80s fans were the best, Opie. It was all about the hair. Oh, oh, so then they're talking about hair bands. All right, we need a better You need song. a hair band. So, yeah, you need, um... Don't know what you got till it's gone. Oh, Cinderella. Uh, Heartbreak Station. Or, no, what? It's still the night. Through the night, through the night. Yeah, a little white snake would work for this That's grade. a great... Yeah, that's a good what? One. <laughs> yes, exactly. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, I cut my hair off. All right, hold on. That's what's going to piss everyone off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. So should, this is what's going to piss Anthony off, which uh, is going to be funny. So you should, that's great. You had a look. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, let's start the commercial again, Anthony. <laughs> Lead in, 80s music. Let's try this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> White snake. There you go. That's about the hair. Hey, Anthony, they sure knew how to rock in the 80s. Oh, what? Oh. oh. Just had to spit the big C out of my mouth. Uh, yeah, 80s bands were the best, Opie. It was all about the hair. <laughs> and here comes the line that would... <laughs> like, what is this about? <laughs> some of us have lost some of that hair. Huh, Anthony? Oh, that's cold, Opie. What? <laughs> <laughs> so they're, are, they go are they going from my ponytailed under the hat uh, hair to my uh, year ago I cut off uh, uh, my, my long hair hair that's not what it says. Well, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Here's the problem. He's losing his hair. Why is he not losing his hair? Oh, that's cold, Opie. <laughs> and then I say, if you've lost a little hair since the 80s, it's oh. time for you to see Dr. Gregory Bastone in Marlton, New Jersey. <laughs> Dr. Bastone's a board-certified dermatologist and cosmetic surgeon with over 20 years of clinical experience. Hey, this is Diamond David Lee Ross. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to prove his... <laughs> oh, wait, this is the part Tony Katane was on the hood of the car. <laughs> this is Pillow Time. Yeah. This is when you get that fish going on. This is the home of the home of the red hair. Jesus, man. Suck it up a little scenario. Who, uh, who wrote this copy? Who wrote this copy? Uh, I don't know. One of the guys in Philly. Now we must immediately find out who wrote this copy. Let's get the... <laughs> can we get the sales guy on the phone? This is a losing hand that is music. Yeah. Check. No, you know what they're going to say? Uh, it's not you guys. This is just like character thing. But you guys do what you want with it. That's just kind of an outline. Holy shit. I, I had to say, I was going to stop, but then I had to say, holy dead. So we won't, we won't wow. be doing it this way. Maybe, maybe we could come up with something else. What is... God, that's great. So, there you go. All right, let's move on to Wendy. Wendy! Hi! Hey, what's up? What's up with you? Not much. Uh, I just want to say that I'm a new listener from okay. Boston. Oh, cool. And last week I was listening because... All right, hold on a second. Yep. Because we got to back up because uh, Steve found the Hooters. Oh, Steve thing. found the Hooters spots. These are great. All right, we'll put that in there. Yeah, this is like a great example of a, a little scenario, a quick little movie before you get into the, yeah. the, the actual facts <laughs> about the establishment. you got to relate to the people. Oh, where'd you put it? All right. Get in the mood. Hey, man, where are you going to watch the big game this year? I don't know. All I do know is that the Giants are in it. Well, then let's go someplace <laughs> fun this time instead of the same old sports bar. Dude, that's a great idea. I know just the place, too. Let's go to Hooters. I go there to watch hockey games all the time. That's a great idea. Love those wings. And buffalo shrimp and big juicy burger. Right, Friggin' right. fag, you want to make out or something? <laughs> <laughs> so gay. How, no how, how easy is that commercial? Howdy. I, I enjoy the acting myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, we're going to go to Hooters and... Hey, that's pretty rad. Get yeah. our Hooters. On. Wow, that's extreme. <laughs> <laughs> that's Why I order... That's fat, yo. <laughs> Why I order... Hey, I order Budweiser. This ain't no Budweiser. What I happened? Order. But one, one wasn't good enough. They had to do a second. They oh, had to bring yeah. back the characters. Now, now the characters This is like the back. sequel to the first oh, Hooters commercial. Right. Who doesn't love a sequel? <laughs> The big game, the Giants, the crowd. What happened? It wasn't queued up? No, it was queued up. It was queued up. It was just all of a dat, so I was doing, was doing it really fast. Oh, yeah. all right. Now I screwed it up, so now we have to wait for it to queue up. <laughs> the cool. big game. But I, uh, I I, did manage to put weight room sound effects and grunting in the background on the uh, second one. 
Oh, oh my God. Sag. I hear it. Sag. The sequel to the yeah. first Hooters commercial. The big game, the Giants, the crowds, the beers. Catch it all at Hooters. There's no need to go to Florida in the crush of the stadium when Hooters has the best seats in town. At Hooters, they've got all kinds of things to offer. During oh, wait, the so there's week. no interaction here? World just you guys in the weight room? Big juicy burgers, <laughs> all kinds of seafood. Yeah, yeah the I thought there was more now, interaction. The oh, here. Talking. We've got steak sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, shrimp, oyster roasts. Great, great, just, great. Seafood, sure. But what about the beer? Oh, and Hooters has an awesome roast beef sandwich uh, for the biggest appetite. What about the boo? Screw the beer. Beef. Hey, big he's, he's ice pissed. cold Watch. beer. Oh, I almost forgot. Now we're talking my language, and it translates to hello BJ's. beer. You can get a whole <laughs> pound of king crab for just nine ninety five. Come on, what about the beer? Okay, okay. We will have some beer special. What do you say to that? It's music to my ears, and my stomach is dancing the mambo. Hey, oh, you're not leaving? Yeah. Later, head over to Hooters for fun, fun, wow. fun, and all the football action. Or if the what about your place the man ass. Pick up some wings to go. He's got, he's yeah. got cleavage all around him at Hooters, yeah. and all he cares about is the beer. What about the beer? And you're coming with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're my bestest friend. All right, here's Eric from WYSP in Philly, Anthony. He wrote the script for Dr. Pistone. Eric. Eric. Yo. <laughs> What's up, Eric? Are you out of your effing mind, Eric? <laughs> first of all... First of all, if we send a bad copy every day, we, we, we read it all on the air all day? No, that was our first and last example. We don't want you getting used to the fact that we'll be uh, reading these things, giving hey, free uh, commercials. Absolutely. No, you know what? It wasn't my copy. I'm not that bad. Um, Whose copy was it? It's from the agency. The oh. guy, you know, the, you know, so it's guys any, it, they just put in anyone's name, and that's the copy? What if well, the guy isn't a cue ball? I don't know. You know, Dr. Bersani, he's a professional. He must have seen something in Anthony that you yeah. guys aren't seeing. Oh, Just my kidding. God. Uh, but, you know, hey, this is our first run with this. We don't know what you guys read and don't read, but, uh, you know. Well, we're having... Eric, can you come on the air with us? We're going to uh, get a new crab salve. <laughs> and uh, we want you to uh, talk about your experience with crabs. And uh, maybe some other kind of venereal diseases, maybe. But I don't have crabs. It don't matter. Ma I didn't write the copy. We just need a guy with, you know, that could say he has crabs or something. Actually, well, so we can while, sell this. While, while I am talking, you guys, I'm getting kind of a little itchy. Is that it? Yeah. How about, like, uh, anal warts? <laughs> Eric, we're, we're going to have a guy uh, advertise with us, and we, we really need your help. Eric with anal warts is going to come on our show now and just talk about his experience with the itching and pain of anal warts. I don't, uh, you don't have anal warts? Oh, who cares? Don't matter. Don't matter, Eric. On all fours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As Yankee Doodle plays in the background. They try. They you try know, to get Dr. Pistone, we've talked to him. We love him. Doctor. We, we uh, did a, a, a boob contest thing, <laughs> a man boob contest, where we talked about him. And, 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 and then we get sent cheesy, scripted, goes everywhere uh, uh, to other stations and other, other personality copy. I, I apologize for the agent. Awful. We'll send you. We'll send you. Oh. Well, you know, the first copy wasn't bad. The first copy was good. You guys read the first stuff. That was good. Eric, Bob's Glory Hole Central. We're going to be doing spots for that where, you know, where uh, Eric gets behind the wall and uh, puts his mouth by the glory hole, and various men just shove their junk through, and Eric satisfies till it's uh, what they call happy ending. Uh, I don't know. You don't, you're not into that, don't matter. It's in the copy that I didn't write. Driving that point home, aren't you? <laughs> you said it. They'll be driving other things home, too, through that hole. Dude, I got you. <laughs> All right. Like it, how funny it, this it is? It got kind of big now. Anyway. Hold on, hold on. This, Jim Brewer wants this. This is the actual scene in Goodfellas <laughs> <laughs> when that poor bastard in the bar goes, listen, your bill here. I don't, I don't mean to disrespect. You don't mean to disrespect me? You don't, you're writing crap about losing my hair? You don't mean to disrespect me in front of my friend here? <laughs> Where do you get your... I thought I told you to go after your mother. <laughs> Bing, bang, bang. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's going to go to wow. his bosses. Listen, guys, they put me on the radio. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? <laughs> Wait, you got rid of them because they didn't like your script? <laughs> <laughs> You're oh. disrespecting me? <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, anyway, yeah. We, yeah. we love you guys down here. We're happy to have you. Thanks, Eric. Uh, you're not happy to have me, but we're happy to have you guys. No, thank you, Eric. <laughs> They're just goofing. Uh, all right. Thank you. All right, there he goes, Eric. All right, there guys. Go. Take care. Uh, Dr. Bastone, right? Yes. Yeah. Say, say something nice about him before the show's over, though, again. All right, uh, please? All right. Uh, Thanks, guys. Uh, thank you. There See he goes. He does much better work than that copy. Dude, I swear to God, I really thought I was in the middle. That guy, you guys were so funny. You were like, so you write this? <laughs> yeah, he's like, like I just, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm really driving that point I, home, guys. I'd even, <laughs> I'd even write it. Anthony, I change her. <laughs> we, we change, we change around the script a little bit. All right. What is it, tag? Hey, Anthony, they sure knew how to suck in the 80s. Yeah, 80s bands were the best, Opie. It was all about the sucking. <laughs> some of us have lost some of their teeth, huh, Anthony? <laughs> hey, that's code, Opie! <laughs> Let me start out. Let me start out. <laughs> you do the Opie, uh, the uh, Anthony line. I'll do the Opie line. All right, here we go. Hey, they sure know how to suck in the 80s, Opie. Yeah, Anthony, uh, 80s bands were the best. It was all about the sucking. Yeah. Hey, some of us have colostomy bags now, Opie. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Ed, that's a little cold. Hey, just because you're crap in a sack, don't come crying to me. I didn't write this copy. Eric did. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? What? I love this answer. Well, the agency. They don't, yeah, the agency. They send it over. We don't care who reads it. The agency wrote it. They don't know who's losing their hair and who's not. They just but just read the copy. <laughs> Just read it. Who cares? Just see, listen, I know I represent you, but can you just come and read the That's okay. It's not like it's TV work. That's okay. All right, obviously the guy's not losing his hair. He's just doing a little bit. It's radio. It's, it's, a, it's a gay sex line we're advertising for. For a gay sex. 1-900-man-ass. Uh, you want to you wanna do the spot for that? Hey, Opie, I just love calling up and listening to hot guys talk about their man ass. Isolate that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That'll be the next promo. <laughs> All right. Uh, His right. son who had a jerk in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> the band was all about the jerking. <laughs> That's a white snake jerking. You know, Brewer, some people don't jerk like they used to. No. <laughs> That's <laughs> cold. <laughs> That's some cold jerk. Hey, who's this? Uh, who's this? Hey. Hello? All right, she's gone. I can talk to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny stuff. Wendy. Hi. We have to take a break, but we want to talk to you next. Can you hold? Uh, how long is that going to be? Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, well what you? All right. What I'm you, working on my computer. That's fine. All right. Cool. Hold on. Okay. We'll talk to Wendy next from Boston. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Jim Brewer. Starting his tour tomorrow night at the Vanderbilt on Long Island. Hey. <laughs> he thought you were off the air. Yeah. <laughs> I just started to say something about this chick, and he thought he was off the air. Now she has one of sexy voice, but one She's got a good voice, right? She's got the voice that makes you want to go faster. <laughs> Bring out the tribal in your... I'm working on my computer. Oh, you are. You like the computer? <laughs> Sorry, I almost broke this thing, man. Just a few tickets available for tomorrow night as uh, Jim kicks off his tour at the Vanderbilt on Long Island. A bunch of us are going. You should, too. Give them a call. Bring Get some your Mexicans. tickets now. Bring some Mexicans? Yes. <laughs> now let's turn on the PA system and start the fun. The Opie and Anthony Show. Afternoon radio. This is it. You can't go anywhere else. Nowhere to go. That's like saying you don't like Earth. You're leaving. Where, Where are you, you going? going? Opie and Anthony. And we finally have control. Yes. Gets better every day, don't it? Uh, Anthony, pinnacle horny goat weed. Yes, how's that sex life? Well, mine sucks, Anthony. <laughs> I mean, it's really good, but, you know, I have to say it sucks for this live read. Hey. Like, it look like a complete tool and they could sell more pinnacle horny goat weed. If I wasn't completely impotent, I would use <laughs> pinnacle horny goat weed. But since I got a piece of limp linguine between my legs, I have no use for it. It can't even help me. I'm such a sad sack. I might as well just chop my schlong off. But if you still have some sensation in your schlong, unlike me... <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you. You read it just like you said. <laughs> Pinnacle horny goat weed. <laughs> Call them up, 1-800-899-5323. You're going to uh, get... Uh, uh, your sex life is going to get into kicking into overdrive on this one. You'll love it. <laughs> one couple said it made their already torrid sexual activities earth-shattering. That's right. Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed. Get it at GNC, well, the that's vitamin a, shop. That's a fake couple. It just sounds good for the right. The read, yeah. And other vitamin retailers. <laughs> or call them up 1-800-899-5323 for Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed. Oh.
News, the station for sports guys, Don and Mike, Opie and Anthony, and Ron and Fez is this station. 1027 WNEW. Hey, it's the ONA Show. Thanks for checking us out. Let's finally get to Wendy. Wendy, what's up? Hey, I hey. called to pay a compliment to Jim, but I might just take that back now. Why? Why do you think? I heard him trying to make fun. Oh, yeah, where is Jim? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, not funny. Not, not laughing. But I did uh -oh. listen to the show. Well, that's all right. On Friday. Yeah. And I want to let you know, Jim was on that show. Where is he right now? He's right here. Okay. Yeah. He had me laughing so hard. There was a bit about, you know, wives, girlfriends finding their husbands or oh, boyfriends. Oh, okay, all right. Hold, yeah, because I want to make sure it gets on the air. Uh, you're talking about uh, Jim telling the story of getting caught by his oh, wife while he was taking care of his I own business. I must tell you, I laughed so hard. I, I my, my eyes, I, I, I can't even tell you. I couldn't even see driving. Cool. I called my husband. I said, you have to hear this. Because there's a reason behind this. Uh-oh. It's because I have found remnants, evidence of him doing the same thing. Remnants and evidence. Evidence. Wait, now we need Hold to on. Because we need to hear the other side here. Evidence. Is this, Valuable is Jim evidence. Now? Yes. Jim, hi. Hi. Well, what do you mean by evidence? Well, yeah. yeah. The sock here? was uh, standing up <laughs> on zone in the corner. <laughs> what happened here? You know what? He would He would so die if he knew I was here. Yeah, good. You got to be careful because we're uh, very, very responsible broadcasters. Yep, and I yes. Even though 2020, those effing tools. I thought. I saw. Well, we'll talk about it later. Um, we, oh, okay, do you want me to tell you? Yeah, go. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. What evidence did you find? Well, you know, there's certain smells. Oh, right. oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, what the hell? Okay, <laughs> ladies, the ladies will know what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. There's just a certain taste and smell. I'm doing a load of whites. A load of whites. No, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, I was yeah. doing a load of whites, and I yeah. dropped one of the towels. And when I picked it up, I grabbed all the clothes to go downstairs. Yeah. And I, it was next to my face. I'm like, what is that freaking stench? Uh-oh. And I'm like, and I grabbed it. I felt like a mother finding their teenager doing something they're not supposed to. Uh-huh. So I talked to my husband. Oh, I said, hold on, Cass Wendy, can I sl slow you down a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm kind of getting a little uh, oh, all right. uh, you want signal continue? from this. You're going to signal? Wendy, yeah. You know your, your, your husband, you know, takes care of himself, right? Correct. I'm not stupid, but I find it appalling. No, let me, let me tell you something. <laughs> Everyone, um, I, don't think, I don't think there is such a pungent aroma coming off of a uh, 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 guy just doing that and leaving something in a towel. <laughs> what will smell bad uh, is if he gets home from work or wherever he is, washes up or maybe just has to wipe down with the towel whoa, whoa, because whoa, whoa. there are other things <laughs> on there, not just his, but maybe someone else's on there, and that's what uh, this uh, aroma is coming from. No. But no, I could be wrong on that, too. You ever no. leave a tuna fish can out in the sun? <laughs> No, you're definitely wrong. All right. Definitely wrong. So you just think he's uh, cranking uh, and then using the towel? Yes. Have you ever... How is... Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just called to compliment the show, and I didn't think it was going to go to this realm. No, we kind of like this. Don't go anywhere. Was there... Let me ask you this. <laughs> uh, Jim, I hear you laughing. Uh, well, yeah, it's funny. No, but his laugh is like mischievous five-year-old in the corner. No, that's, well, me? That, that's me. Oh. Okay. I got the stupid laugh. Okay. All right. Uh, Jim, you're, you have a question. <laughs> I was going to say, is it is Oh, it here a little we go. stiffer there oh. Oh, oh. in that area Okay, sure. than the rest of the towel? Mm -hmm. Say again? Is the towel. Is it a little stiffer? Oh, yes. Of course it was. All right, so it's like crunchy kind of? Oh, yes. Oh, then you guys know what that is. Oh, hell. Jeez, growing up. Yeah, of course. I, so I, I that's, that's what I found. I so crank it onto anything. <laughs> this tissue don't feel like snot. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I was like one of those. You see the specials on tigers when they just walk by something and <laughs> mark it. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I owned everything in the house. <laughs> So I just wanted to let you know hey, uh, that I could relate, and I found it very amusing. <laughs> and the fact that you brought up that you think my husband was cheating on me, not funny. No, I and know. And Jim, you poking yes. fun at me, not funny. Wait, uh, I had something else what? I wanted to ask you about okay, this whole ahead. situation. That's the only evidence you found? 
Yeah, why? It is? Cause, so what did he say? How did he there react? Isn't a sm- there isn't a... He's, he reacted like a 14-year-old when you found nudie magazine underneath their bed. They're embarrassed. And then he's like, when do you know? Uh, well, let me talk oh, to you. Oh, so he admitted? Oh, yeah. Well, of course. You want to admit to one, not to... He'll, he'll admit to murder one, not murder two. And what does that <laughs> stuff do? <laughs> <laughs> he's confident. You guys want to call right. him? He's confident, too. <laughs> hey... What does that stuff do to the hairs on your leg in the shower when you think you got it all off? <laughs> <laughs> and then later on, you're like, ow! Hell's that? I don't know what you're talking about. I was in the, sh- I was in the shower. You've all washed away. <laughs> uh, Rob, what's up? <laughs> uh, I just got a comment for this poor woman. For yeah. woman? Uh, yeah, the comment is uh, your husband's cheating on you. Figure it out. Come on. Someone else. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Like, if it smelled bad, unless he's using the same towel and not washing it for a month, uh, you know. Oh, but, that's nasty. But uh, well, how, what does it smell like? Yeah, what does it what smell does it like? Say to guys? All right. Uh, cement. No, it smells <laughs> like did. cement. No, she, she did. did. No, she, she said the other thing. <laughs> yeah. It smells like a bunch of people that are in a submarine exactly. together. Exactly. All right. Mm. Let's I, you see. know what? I think other women need to call in and, you know. Yeah. Oh, really? It's yeah. it, it's Wendy's uh, radio show now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done now because now I'm going to go home and be like, Lewis. are you cheating on me? Lois. Yeah, she's all yeah. Right. What's up? Now. Hey, uh, just want to call and tell that lady that speaking from experience, having to I had to wipe down once or twice that uh, I think she's uh, barking up the wrong tree and he's got somebody else. Oh, my God. Like yeah. what? I'm hanging up now. What? No, seriously, just from experience, honey, your man batch doesn't smell that bad. No, it, it wouldn't be something where you just, like, picked it up and then got a waft uh, coming off of it. Oh, I'll tell you what, no, there's, you know I... what that musk smell comes like after getting some? Well, that's a combination of, uh, you know, uh, tab A and slot B, you know what I mean? Exactly. It, it's exactly. like, yeah, that'll work up... Uh, certain aroma but i'm well, t- i'm talking if you're alone and you just crank it the byproduct i don't think uh ha- has any kind of i don't remember smelling anything and i spent either. quite a few years throwing a few batches you know what i mean yeah oh all right you, especially if it's dried up yeah it's a little well dried up with me i don't know done? Yeah, we'll I think the we are post the we'll post boffing wipe down. Do you want to call my husband? <laughs> on your towel. We're done, and obviously your husband is. Yeah. Okay, thanks. He's gonna be. All right, Wendy. Bye. Oh, there she goes. Mm, a lot of people uh, wow. agreeing that maybe there's something else on that towel. Maybe he had cranky he ass. Had some really. <laughs> maybe he had cranky funky, ass. Funky, yeah, cranky. You know? You have the cranky ass, and you gotta wash it. <laughs> I hate that swamp. Who has swamp ass? Swamp ass. All right, uh, look, I can finally ask this question. I, I was. You ever take that long uh, dump before you got to do eighteen holes of golf? You ever take a long <laughs> dump? <Long> dump. <laughs> and then eighteen holes of golf, the nineteenth hole is thick, <laughs> and your ass just be wet. <laughs> wow, good fryer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and fly say screw it. <laughs> Cause fly don't even mess with that ass. Say, screw it, Jack. That <laughs> kind of swamp ass. <laughs> uh, speaking of the swamp ass, so, uh, yes. so I'm in a hotel in Athens or a vacation. Oh, jeez, finally we got the same story. <laughs> what is the toilet sink? What do you mean? It's uh, all right. You go in the bathroom in this hotel in Athens, and yeah. you got the regular toilet. And right yeah. next to it's another toilet with like, uh, like a hot and cold uh, oh, knobs yeah, yeah, yeah. and a little drain stop. It's a bidet. Yeah, it's a bidet. Can, it's, uh, for, it's for cranky Dundee. ass. Clean yourself up. Yeah, it's for swamp when butt. When your ass is wet, <laughs> you bend it over the sink, but ain't a sink, and you turn and you clean your ass, <laughs> and then your ass says, "Screw it." <laughs> Hey, you're supposed to. Because my ass don't even mess with the little sink, Jack. <laughs> See, it, but you, it, it, you take, it, you take right, a dump. It didn't look like you could do that, though. And then when you finish, you turn on the nozzle and the water, like, sprays up. I don't think it would spray up. Did it, you turn it, it on? You do? It was a regular. F- I, <laughs> I, I, I took care of business. <laughs> no, you didn't use it for. Come on. You don't use that as a toilet. Number one or oh. two. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> when you do number two in the bidet, it's definitely going down all slow in the fast seat. Uh, no, see, I, I, I thought the bidet, the water sprays up. It does. This water wasn't spraying up. What do you mean? It was a sink. In the shape of a toilet. Dude, dude. <laughs> With a you hot turn and a, and a cold right. nozzle. You turn it on, yeah. right? Right. And, and, and the water will uh, uh, start running in it, like a sink. Right. But it's to clear the sides or anything, because then there's what another thing, like a foot pedal or something. What do you fill up that sink and then submerge? You've got to dip your ass. <laughs> you take your yam <laughs> and your chicken and you say, screw it. <laughs> well, you dip it. Well, maybe. Well, you fill it up and dip and it, dip it. <laughs> like a chip in salsa. You ever just like say, a tank chip. You ever just say, dip it? <laughs> well, dip it. the maid got a nice surprise there. Because then it had like a drain thing, and I couldn't like, you know, so it was kind of, and I couldn't like, you know. Oh. <laughs> it was kind of like, anticipation. And it's just like Hans ketchup. <laughs> and the drain just says, screw it. Housekeeping? Oh, my God. Fly's been knocking on the window. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you see that? Oh. It's a peeing. It's a peeing. There's crime tape up <laughs> when you get home. And the door's knocking. <laughs> well, there you go. I, just, I don't know. It wasn't a bidet. The bidet, I thought that it sprays up. Yeah, it's it does. A I don't know if there's another or, kind where you just fill it up. Hey man, and dip it. It was just like a sink. Give it a dip. <laughs> where you push down the thing and then you right. clog the drain and water goes up. Well then, okay, maybe it's a dippy, uh, dip a bidet, dippy bidet, where you dip it. You fill up the water, you make sure you it's a nice temperature. What is wrong with <laughs> If your butt is cranky, yes, you, you must can... dip it. <laughs> Funka bang and make. <laughs> dip it. A dip it good. <laughs> dip that ass. <laughs> dip your stanky ass. <laughs> dip it. Dip it. That cranky ass. In the <laughs> Back it up. <laughs> Hold on. See, this guy is. A dip it good. <laughs> dip that ass. <laughs> Give that ass a dip. <laughs> dip it. Give it a dip. You <laughs> must dip it. Hey, John. So John. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, yeah. John. What's John. up, man? John. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a bidet. It's a foot washer. A foot washer? <laughs> it's a foot washer. The bidet, the water comes out the bottom. That's what I'm saying. It, I, I, it's, it was definitely not a bidet, but why a foot washer in Athens? They don't wash their feet. You see those corny little towels that they have that aren't really towels? Yeah. yeah. Those are towels. Those aren't. Those are to wipe your hands and your feet. <laughs> that was a foot washer. That's a foot washer. A foot nice washer. Head, <laughs> and he's going and doing number two in a foot washer. <laughs> nice dip, dick. <laughs> yeah, that's a foot washer. It's a foot washer. It's a foot what? Let me hear him say nice, <laughs> nice head. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> now your feet smell like ass, Opie. Because <laughs> you hear it. <laughs> and you leave and rip that ass. And walk this way. Like this? No, fool. That's an ass up. Oh, like this? <laughs> no, like this. Okay. You're so silly. I don't know if they're going to dump out of that, though. <laughs> there you go. Well, all right, so... So you took it. Yeah, so I did the number two, but now there's like... I couldn't get the drain out, so now there's... <laughs> yeah, you can't go digging in. It's a little oh. slot. How did you not think that you... I don't know, man. I didn't How know what was going on. You look at a sink... And you look at a toilet. Wasn't there a toilet? It was there? toilet level. I'm thinking toilet. <laughs> so, then I, so then I fill up the uh, the toilet sink with water. And now it's, <laughs> it looks like I was making soup. <laughs> oh, God. It's a beef stew. Oh, what we do is fill up the bidet with some water and then add some excrement and leave it marinade for a while. It's a fine gravy. You'll be happy to serve to anybody. <laughs> oh. uh, Tommy, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, buddy. Oh. Let me ask you, did you stay over at Hilton? The, the Hilton in Athens? No. Yeah, no. No. Did you ever have uh, any problems with a European uh, toilet? Mm, a European yeah, what? I, I never knew there was a T in the third <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> the tablet. 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 Tackle. Tablet. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So you're trying to say it is a foot washer? Yeah, it is. Wow. Foot washer? Did you do any of the Athens by night? Athens by night? Yeah, any of the clubs, the big no, clubs. No, yeah. yeah. I was a wimp. You know, they like it in the back door in uh, Greece, Sophie. <laughs> Just thought I'd add that in since we hadn't touched on that yet. <laughs> wow. All right. I don't know. Right. Oh, you know, it was definitely not a bidet. A lot of people saying it's a foot washer. Christina. A foot washer. Oh. Christina. Hello? Hey, you're on the radio. Hello. Hey. It is, I think it is a bidet. I went to bidet, the uh, Dominican Republic. Yeah. And you're just supposed to back up to it, and it's supposed to, like... Well, it does go downward. It, it, I don't know. This was, let, let me make this perfectly clear. It was a sink at toilet level. Exactly. Nothing different. To, it was a sink, a sink at toilet level. To back Nothing, up to it. it didn't look like a sink. It was yeah. a sink at toilet level. Yeah, that's it's, important. Was it an ass shaped sink? Yeah. Or was it round? It was a sink toilet level that looked, you know, in the shape of a toilet. Yeah, it's like oval. It's a sink. big oval. Yeah. Oval. Yeah, but you're supposed to back up to it and let it flow down. Back I really that ass up. I did, ba I did back up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. And I did let it flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a foot washer, because how are you going to get your foot in there? I don't know. The foot thing's starting to make sense, I, you know? Maybe they like I, to have their feet nice and clean in that. Wash their yeah. feet before <laughs> praying, I'm hearing. I don't know. Praying. I like to think you wash your hair. <laughs> <laughs> If it's a foot wash, then that whole Frank dip it thing means nothing. Frank nothing. wants to know if it had three knobs. No, it was a toilet, hot water, cold water, boom. <laughs> You're supposed to take your foot and stick it in the dipper, but then your ass says, Scully. Hey, guys, uh, how you doing? Pretty good. Oh. Um, the only thing I have to say is I think this is another stellar example of feces equaling funny. <laughs> I don't know. Party equals funny. That works. Yeah, I, you know, we, we never okay. intend on going there, but uh, hey. I, I, I was in Greece. It's so I figured disgusting. I, I would do what the Greeks did. Well, I don't, there you I don't, go. I thought that's what they did for some reason. I, don't, I mm. thought they had it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
<laughs> I was, dude, I was in Africa when I was in eighth grade. Yeah, get this guy. Swear to you, no, wait, <laughs> eighth grade, you went to Africa? Yes, my mom worked for Pan Am Africa. for like 25 Whoa, years. Oh, fly everywhere free. Exactly. So nice. we had one big trip. We went to Africa, and it was on a... What part? Kenya. Nairobi. Kenya. Nairobi. Nairobi, Kenya. <laughs> and uh, you went on a safari? But, dude, That's no, pretty cool, no baloney. They have these tents you stay in. And you had to leave the tent to go to the bathroom. So you had to walk maybe about five feet of <laughs> desert. In Africa. And I <laughs> swear in my sister's behind, you would hear in the distant night. <laughs> 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 Like fighting, <laughs> just wild animals of Africa killing each other. And that night, oh, everyone God, told funny. me, "Don't eat meat." My sister's the only one didn't eat meat, and she's the only one that didn't crap for five straight days. Uh. Well, I had a pork <laughs> chop, and I should have known. I'm in the middle pork. of nowhere, Africa's version of pork. <laughs> and it looked you like, ate the monkey chop. <laughs> I don't even think it was that. It looked like a finger with some fatty stuff uh. on the top. Oh man! <laughs> well, I ate it, and I'm, <laughs> dude. Screw walking out. I put. I just unzipped the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked like a rocket it. propelled tent. <laughs> right there for like oh. hours until the next morning. <laughs> hey, you know what? Oh, I didn't even care for like that. You know, I went to the. Um, That's funny. I didn't even African. <laughs> I, went, I went to the uh, African, uh, the wild animal kingdom they got there in Disney. By the yeah. way, and uh, I went into one of their little quaint African restaurants. Yeah. I had a burger. It was great too. Tasted just like the one I had in uh, in uh, the Italian uh, version of, <laughs> of Disney. It was great, though. I didn't have to worry about the pork chop finger fat thing there, champ. And I saw lions. I saw uh, giraffes. Dude, I had to get shots. I think malaria shots. Were really? Like, like four shots. Well, they don't, don't do that at Disney. No. Kind of takes you out of the reality of it. <laughs> Chris, what's you up? To get uh, yeah, you guys wanted to talk about swamp ass earlier. Yeah. I have the perfect swamp ass prevention system. I'm thinking about patenting it. What's that? Every summer, as soon as it starts to get warm, you got to get in the shower and get some shampoo. Uh, I, I like to use something with a conditioner. I gotta... Unless you're using powder. It's, it's impossible. Right. I lived in Florida for a couple I had to hang years. up on him because we're responsible broadcasters, even though 2020 Downtown doesn't think so. Right. Anthony. We understand what the FCC is all about, you tools. Well, he was uh, trying to describe a prevention little, a for little, cranky. A little too descriptive. And mm, he said sh shampoo uh, with a conditioner. Right. Something like pert. pert. Is that what he's saying? Maybe a shampoo and conditioner kind of thing? Was that Would something, that even work? Something in that area. I think once you leave the house and sweat starts falling down your crack... When it's you know. 100 degrees outside... <laughs> Screw your ass just says screw it and <laughs> dripping and your, your feet say I need to go poopy so screw it. Ah, uh, Mike, what's going on? Yo, yeah, oh. hey, what's up, Mike? You were eighty percent right. I lived in Greece for ten years. Come on, help me okay. out. Okay, help you me don't out. Don't actually take a dump in the thing, but you fill it up with water. You grab a towel, and that's why the soap is there too. You literally there was so. it again like you're in the shower. Ah. Wait, we didn't say I could totally see this. You get done, right? You could just now, do that in the shower. No, no. No, yeah, but you don't want to jump in the shower. You don't jump in the shower after every time. Whoa, so it's whoa, a, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Beginning here. Hold on. I missed what there, you are, said. there are times I'll take two or three showers a day because I have one of those. Oh, uh, dude, there's a red alert time where you just go, oh, my God, <laughs> I've, I've passed the point. Now I must go from bowl to shower. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing. There is that where you're thinking in your head, there's just not enough toilet paper in the house. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna clean up. You need that crime scene cleaning crew to come in. So this isn't just vacuuming. Get me some wetness! There's brains on the walls, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> you're gonna need... Why are you taking a shower? Don't worry about it. Don't get smell. Why are there flies on the window? Go inside! <laughs> yeah, you know you're getting in the shower when you have to ask yourself after you turn around. <laughs> How did it even get there on the seat? <laughs> How did it get there? How did it get on my neighbor's dog? It defies from here. gravity. <laughs> it defies any logic. How did it get there? Famous line, it looks like you rode your 10-speed speed, bi ten speed bike through a mud puddle. Through a mud puddle. You ever do that with no fender on the back? You get that long stripe right up the back of your you head. You put your legs up as you go through it. <laughs> it's 
all up in the You know, it, you got to clean up. So 85% of right, Mike? 85%. Just, so you don't have to shower again when you take a real swampy one. Mm, okay. Oh. All right? Oh, I, oh, you guys suck. <laughs> Wish I knew that. I don't think I left the maid a, a big enough tip. Oh. <laughs> have, we, have we talked about duty long enough? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, every you know something? You'll always get the, you know, why were you just talking about that, uh, uh, about duty? But, you know, these things have to be discussed sometimes. sometimes. How the hell, where did that toilet come from? What does it do? Know. I agree with the guy, though, that it's for Hold washing down. afterwards. Okay. Was it was it the same level as a, a toilet? Yeah, exactly. Well, then it's meant for that. If it was a foot bath, it would be lower. If it was for your face, it would be higher. At first, I thought it was that old SNL bit, the his and her toilets. That fake commercial for the his and her toilets. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, there was uh, Victoria Jackson and... Uh, and uh, mm. one of the only funny things Kevin Yellen ever did, yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> ah, ouch. That's got to hurt. Let me think. Yep, you're, you're right. Hey, it's Big Al. Hey, Big Al. Big Al, what's up, man? Hey. Hey, man, I got to say something to you. When you guys first took over the evening ride home, I was a bit concerned. Doubts are long gone. Y'all oh. just fall, man. Oh, and that thing y'all did last Friday that has been, yeah. man, y'all going straight to hell. Uh, right on. And you got to do it more often. Well, keep that between uh, you and I, and we will. We don't want to let, uh, let that bit out too 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 much there. So no. deal, man. I'm, I'm calling from D.C., man. Keep it real. Oh, thanks, thanks Al. Peace. Man, the um, dude, I lost it last week with the blind, the blind, the blind boxing. The first go around. Yeah. I, yeah, I haven't laughed that hard in a lot since yesterday. Blind guys <laughs> beating the crap out of uh, themselves. Oh. Always funny. All right, we have to take Sorry, a break. I just had to say that. Oh, we do. This yeah. is an outrage. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's some great phone calls though. Yeah. Jim Brewer, I'm, I'm going to say it every break, because I, I hope people go see Jim Brewer tomorrow night at the Vanderbilt on Long Island. A few tickets available. We're going there to party. It, it's the kickoff of his huge rock comedy tour. Rock comedy tour. And uh, he's going to be in a lot of the cities we broadcast in. So uh, if you're listening well, in Cleveland or Columbus or any of these places, uh, you know, uh, how are we going to let them know? You got a, the website? website it's uh, Jim Brewer, B-R-E-U-E-R.com. Right on. Okay. Right. All right. I'm looking for toilet training books. Uh, everybody poops is still the standard. I've also got the less popular nobody poops but you. Uh, See, we're Catholic, so... Uh, oh, then you want your naughty child, and that's completed evil coming out the back of you. The Opie and Anthony Show. I need to go poopies! Ah, uh, Anthony, O2 Go. O2 Go. It's oxygenated distilled drinking water. It's pure. It's got more oxygen in it. Great taste, no aftertaste. You know, when they distill water, Opie, um, usually it doesn't taste good. But it's very good for you. But then when they oxidate it, ah, there's where you get the refreshing taste. And it's uh, healthier than anything on the planet. O2Go has set purity standards against which all other waters will be measured. Not even nature can make this... <laughs> Hey, you want to keep going and stay healthy? Look for O2Go, Original Blue. Delicious calorie-free essence flavors, exclusive black sports bottle, and even more oxygen when you need it. I love oxygen, Brewer. It's amongst my favorite of gas. Oxygen. O2Go. Opie and Anthony. 1027 WNEW. Yeah, this is the O and A show. Jim Brewer hanging today. Mike, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey, bro. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, I got a question for a Brewer. Yeah. Hey, uh, when you go on tour, A, are you coming to New Jersey, and B, are you going to be doing some of that Rob Halford stuff? I start off with the Halford stuff. Nice. That's probably the best. I shouldn't say, but the concert starts. Uh, if you know, it's just like the '80s metal concerts. The lights go out. <laughs> It's like when you, oh my God, here they come. <laughs> and there's, you're going to see a picture of me over a big screen going to see Ronnie James Dio. Oh, no. When I was 17. I think it's on my website. Oh, oh man. I have spandex pants, the studded belt, Judas Priest tank top in front of my Buick <laughs> Skyhawk. 
<laughs> with my you are so head. metal. Nice mullet. Yeah, so it's Deke. gonna. But right now I'm not in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mullet, man. And, yeah. It's a mullet. That was re- that nice was required mullet, if you were, if you lived on Long Island, I, man. I had to have a mullet. Everyone Don't has the mullet haircut. You at least you pick. Right now I, I'm not in Jersey, but I'll be at uh, Irving Plaza, which is uh, close Manhattan. enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just got the new Halford CD, and whenever oh. I hear him hit the notes, I just think of you. Oh, he's it's, unbelievable. It's, you know he's going, just... it's like, wow. Dude, I just saw the MTV. You guys, were, only Priest fans will really know this. MTV, this is how I really get into Priest. They showed a concert of Judas Priest, like in 1993, and they showed mm-hmm. it like every other weekend on MTV. And it was just, I mean, this guy was an animal. <laughs> 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 Like, oh my god! I mean, are you kidding me? The first video I saw was the free will burning video. Oh, dude. I'm talking about knocking the crap out of my room. Uh, the, uh, we're all going tomorrow night. We can't wait. We're going to have uh, yeah. check out Brewer tomorrow at uh, the Vanderbilt. Give a big shout out to Big Nipper! <laughs> <laughs> Later. All right, Mike. Cool. Mm-hmm. Lady Di. Yeah, hi. How you doing, guys? Welcome back to New York. Boy, How was I, your vacation? Can, can I go back to Athens? Oh, no, brother. you can't. <laughs> oh. How you doing, Mr. Brewer? I'm doing good. How are you? That's good. That's good. We're going to check you guys out in the Irving Plaza, probably. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Marion and I welcome you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, Marion and I welcome. I I I, I, call, I called before, but I was, I was at some hub too long time. I know. I went to I, 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 got, I got sort of a kind of a brain. I got sort of a kind of a brain. I'm going. I'm going down to Florida. You know, she she said uh, before we went on vacation. She goes, I'm going to be down Florida at, 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 at later in the month. I'm like, when? Oh my God, <laughs> when? I can only imagine that. She looked like one of the Disney characters in the suit, even when she's not in a suit. <laughs> what the hell, character? What cartoon are you from? He's from Dr. Seuss Land. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I, I, I guess we have a kind of thing. I'm, I'm, I'm staying at the Hard Rock. <laughs> yeah. Please keep your hands and feet in the... Oh, my God! <laughs> Hi. I can't, I can't pull the safety bar down over my tremendous saggy boobs. I'm sorry, you can't ride this. You're too short to ride, but if you roll through sideways, you're tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that hard? I, 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 I got some of a Oh, is that hard? I don't even know what she looks like, and I can't take out that vision. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Well, next time you're here, we'll make sure they stop by for a visit. Oh. Picture McDonald's the Grimace with a dandelion <laughs> on its head. Yeah, she's shaped like the Grimace. It's great. I'm not shaped like the Grimace. Like the Dr. Seuss characters? Yeah, she does. She looks like uh, the Dr. Seuss characters. They got a big, yeah, the big bulbous sketch. kind of thing. That's okay. I got that. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Kids running up to her at Disney trying to pick his next door. Why does everyone want to take a picture of him? <laughs> they think you're a character. They think you're some bizarre, forgotten Disney character. <laughs> Something from one of Walt's LSD trips. <laughs> My God, that animatronic's getting real. They're getting really, uh, they're getting great at doing that, aren't they? Because that can't possibly be human. But look how it moves. I, 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 I got a kind of a frame. The retarded Laverne and Shirley. Man, I need a nap. You need a nap, Ski? I'm going to drive out to the island tonight. This sucks. <laughs> Hey, uh, I stood where Socrates stood. <laughs> where, when you were in Greece? In Athens. <coughs> Dude, I was right where Socrates was. Wait for it. We go up there, man. Try this. I, che- <laughs> I, I, I checked out the, uh, uh, the Parthenon. Yeah. Is it called the Parthenon? The Parthenon. Yes. On, uh, on, uh, Isn't there also the Panthenon? I can name that in two beats. <laughs> at, sorry, man, I wasn't paying attention. At the Acropolis? <laughs> at the Acropolis. Where Yanni played? Yanni played the Acropolis? Faggy. <laughs> <laughs> Opie was a, 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 a Yanni. Oh, a you Johnny know fan. things. You, well, you know Yanni? You're better than us? <laughs> the, yeah, go listen to Yanni, faggot. <laughs>
<laughs> and grow his hair like him, too. Like but, freaking Henning, whatever that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> the world of magic. So I checked out the Parthenon? Yeah. And realized that uh, America just doesn't have any history whatsoever. We got 200 and some odd years of uh, history. Wow. Parthenon was <sighs> completed in like 2 Dude. BC. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's old. Right? I went to England I, and I, realized... I, yeah, so. I, I, ad, I advise, though, if you do go to Athens, don't smoke dope before you see the Parthenon. It'll freak you out. Really? Just, you know, think about how old things really are, man. Oh, man. <laughs> like, whoa, dude. Yeah, here in the States, you know, you go around and... Think about this it. is the Alamo here in Alamo, Texas, man. and you know, built in uh, 1800s 18, blah, blah, blah. and something. You're like, all right, 1800. Wow, it's a long time ago. Yeah. You know, but then you realize there are people still alive that could have, at some point in their life, shaken hands with someone that was alive back then. Right, right. With a hundred-year-old guy holding a baby, right. and if that baby is now old, it's well, your 1800s, right over there. Over here, yeah, you hear, like, Grandma was born in 1820. She was born in 18? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 18-something. 18, 18 of 1920s. Dude, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot. You know, we say, ooh, we look, look, there's the spirit of St. Louis. Dude, his grandmother <laughs> is 225 in the 1800. <laughs> and then his brother was in the Civil War. He's that dick. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's some, so you could still kind of almost relate to those people, those little house on the prairie type people. <laughs> yeah. But then, you, you're looking at, you check out the Parthenon. 3 BC. You check out the Parthenon, and you get that same feeling the first time you realize you were going to die. <laughs> Oh, no. Not that one. That's a bad high. Oh, no. It's like, this was what? Completed in 2 B.C.? And then and they have still there, yeah. Then, and they're trying to put it back together, so they have a pile of rocks that just look like a pile of rocks. They're like, oh no, oh no, they're organized. They know it, it, where each rock's gonna go. That's like a puzzle that sits on someone's table and never gets done. Right. <laughs> it's been there for thousands of years, and they got pieces left. It's like, ah, screw it. They got them all labeled. Then you look at it, and it's like, no, this is just a pile of rocks. No, they organize. Do the edges first. It's easier if you do all the edges first. An archaeologist won a, a Pulitzer Prize for organizing those rocks. Oh, yeah. It's a pile organizing of rocks. Organizing rocks. Fell off the mountain. <laughs> right. Get over it, dick. Yeah. Puzz 3D. It's a Puzz 3D. <laughs> so, Ooh, so, so near the uh, Parthenon yeah. is another little hill. Mm. Where uh, Socrates uh, took his students. <laughs> Socrates. Was Socrates. Old. Socrates. Yeah, he Socrates. was. Socrates. You know, he was. Who? Socrates. Think about what I thought you were talking said, about man. Socrates. Socrates. He was the guy, you know, the wisdom guy. Right. Sat all the people down and, like, taught them, and he they taught, all wear those dude, togas. He taught them about ladybugs, man. <laughs> 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 So the Socrates Hill, like, uh, yeah. you know, it overlooks the whole city of Athens. Bitch. And he used to teach his wisdom to his students. Yeah. You know what it's used for today? What? what? The locals go there to check out the, the sunset and smoke dope. <laughs> I'm sure Socrates would be happy. Right? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm contemplating. <laughs> I'm contemplating the writings of Socrates. <laughs> Dude, give me the joint. <sighs> Look at the view. Check out the Parthenon. <laughs> it was built a long time ago. <laughs> think about it. We're like, oh, what are we? Dude. <laughs> oh, did you think guys. about We're, it too much? Oh, yeah. We're like 11 in Earth years. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a time scale that was lo as long as like a ruler, and that's how long like the Parthenon was around, you would be like not even a centimeter on the metric well, scale. Well, that's a metric ruler, dude. I'm talking regular standard turn ruler. Your, turn your ruler around, dick. Oh, okay. He's right. He's got a point. Wait a minute. Man. But how much is like an Metrics eighth of an inch? Side. How much is an eighth of an inch? It's like this much. <laughs> on the ruler, <laughs> dick. <laughs> and that's the exactly the size of you know what, man. Hey, shut up. <laughs> the size of you, you know what. <laughs> hey, Chris, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. Hey, man. <laughs> Ooh, you're a pisser, man. Oh, oh but I got to tell you, I did the same thing. I was in Athens, and my girlfriend and I got so stoned. Yeah. And they were telling us about the hill right next to the Parthenon. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, that's where Socrates took so his students. I'm like, yeah, probably bang him. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good view up there. The place is great. All right. Dude, let me ask you, yeah. what were you thinking when your stuff wasn't going to fit through that slot in the sink? Oh, man, I needed like, <laughs> I needed like, a, uh, like a thing to kind of 
work it through. <laughs> if you knew it wasn't going to fit through, what are you trying for, dude? I, I was in Greece. I figured it's something they... I don't know. Tradition. <laughs> right. Tradition. Thank <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, Chris. Thank you. See you later. Bye. <sighs> what's that? Oh, cool. Ed, what's up? Hey, yo, uh, yeah. oh, what is that? You know that organized pile of rocks you saw there? Yeah. Yo, I was there seven years ago on my honeymoon, and I saw that same exact pile of rocks. Did you really? Seven friggin' years ago, and they're supposed to be rebuilding it. Oh, seven <laughs> years in in the course of two thousand years is nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's hey, not rocking. They're just getting started. Yo. <laughs> and hope, did you experience? Hey, hope, did you experience those uh, archaeological digs like in the middle of the street? Uh, there's there's stuff everywhere. Yeah, dude. They, 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 if you buy a piece of property there and you're building and you find like a clay pot, yeah, the government takes over your friggin' property. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. really? It's an archaeological dig. See, people nice. think like Athens just pretty much has a part. There's ruins all dun, over dun, the place. Dun, dun, I know they're dun, everywhere. Right. Dun, 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 dun. All right, uh, we all right, must man. take your <laughs> house now, Doctor Jones. Check it out! I found a stick. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Don't hit me, Dick! What the yo? Chill. You'll come with us, Shorty Chow Chi. <laughs> Rich, what's up? Ah, uh, not much. Uh, I went to the uh, I went to the Acropolis a little while, like about a year ago. My school. Yeah. Let me tell you, there's nothing funnier than seeing a group of about thirty, forty college kids going up there, just baked. stoned as hell. Yeah. 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 Up. Oh man, <laughs> it, it must have been the best experiences of my life. I was going up there and. All we could talk about was how hairy the women's legs were that were there. Paul, oh, yeah. yeah, how about that, oh? Paul, let me, <laughs> let me tell you something. You, you, I, you brought up something I wanted to mention today. That's right. The women in Europe have got to start shaving their yeah. legs and their arms, their, uh, their armpits. Oh, no, two ways about it. I went on some, some of those excursions where you're in, like, 100-degree heat. You get back on the bus. And the women, they're not shy. They'll just yeah. change their clothes in front it of you, which is like nice. It smells like when you know in the, in the <laughs> but, part of the but zoo. But they, they had just the, the long, sweaty oh, armpit uh, hair. Oh. You know when you know you're coming close to the gorilla stage? <laughs> <laughs> they do, right. Oh, man. That it comes smells, in. yeah. That right smells. All right, Rich. You know, Opie, um, oh, when I was up. taking my... Uh, my world tour through Disney's Epcot <laughs> uh, on my vacation because I, I didn't go to Greece or Turkey like you did. I like the clean version, the Disney version of the world. Um, the girls all shave there. All the cast members, regardless of what country in Epcot they worked in, yeah. all clean shaven. And once again, they didn't have those big, unusual moles. Not huh? the big uh, <laughs> Turkish mole. No, I, I didn't see anything like What's that. What's in the drinking water that everyone in Turkey has an unusual <laughs> mole? I saw <laughs> I saw one mole with white fuzz. I swear to you, and this is going to gross someone out. I love it. I saw a mole on, uh, I, it was actually grease, Yeah. Uh, in the middle of a girl's chest that looked like a raspberry sticking out of oh. her chest. Wow, right out of the middle. Just nice. as big as a raspberry. I'd be toe. so scared of that, I'd just pop her in a snuff box. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Man. Hey, so no, there was nothing like that at the uh, Disney uh, yeah. Epcot Center. Yeah. I'll be where all the countries of the world are represented in a clean fashion. <laughs> Not in a diseased, filth-ridden, impoverished way like it is in the real world. It's the Disney way. Disney and it's way. very politically correct. And you didn't have explosive diarrhea. No. <laughs> the only, you know something? I did find something a little amiss, though, with well, part of my Disney experience. Uh, MGM. Went to the MGM Studios, which I don't really think they film movies there. <laughs> Tell you the truth. <laughs> like uh, well, the well, MGM wait. Studio Tour. Yeah. Way to go, Einstein. Two seconds. They yeah. show you one house. Here's their big selling point. In 1981, the first Ernest Goes Somewhere movie was filmed, and that was the house. Used right there on the MGM Studios lot. Wow. But then, what were you expecting, yeah. man? I don't know. Show me the Psycho <laughs> House like they have in the Universal thing, right, Rick? They didn't have that? Rick was a tour guide in Universal Studios California. Dude, I was on oh. Socrates' Hill, man. I had a great time. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I stood where Socrates stood. I stood where um, Disney planned on taking a lot of people's money. <laughs> and and, and, and uh, the, they had a Pearl Harbor thing going on. Mm -hmm. little exhibit where there's a big tank of water, some explosives in it, a ship, and they show how some of the effects for the movie Pearl Harbor were made. <laughs> yeah, right. No CGI. <laughs> I know it was CGI. They didn't have some dopes there with a boat rocking and some water <laughs> being thrown on them like some Mikhail's Navy outtake. Do they have a box of gravel that, you know, you, you stand in to make the rock sound? <laughs> yeah. So, so this is what got me, though. The woman doing the tour, 
<laughs> Japanese. Oh. I mean, couldn't understand a word she's saying Japanese. She's telling us how Pearl Harbor, how the movie's made. Now we when the ship was here, <laughs> now we are air cannon. We will show how we make the effect of when we bomb your round eye asses at Pearl Harbor. Now uh, we use air cannon explosives and fire to make planes do strafing run at your pitiful navy. And I'm looking like she's, she's, they should not have a Japanese woman doing this. She didn't sound like a munchkin? Yeah, she did. Japanese, she did. Old Japanese ladies, when they're uh, giggling and telling jokes, sound like munchkins. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm giving much uh, uh, credit here because I couldn't understand what she was saying. Yeah. She'd be like, I'm trying to say, 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 I'm trying to they trick you with these parks sometimes. You you get online and you think you're going on a ride, and then they show you demonstrations and films and yeah. juggling and whatever the hell before you ever get to the ride. It's a clever <laughs> ruse, but at least it's clean. We're trained though. We see a line. We got to get. Uh, we'll be going up yeah. the tower we, we and get to the back of it. Right? Yeah, yeah, any second now. Right. Oh, we stand on a line, and then they trick you with the line too. You get in. And you're like, oh, this is a breeze, man. I'm in. There's no one standing. You're around the corner. Four oh, rows. Four rows, four back rows and forth, back and forth. Same person. <laughs> yeah. same, same person going by. Hey, how minutes. you doing? Yeah. How you doing? Hey. Do the clenched mouth thing and nod the head at him again. The mm -hmm. only thing that keeps mm -hmm. that going is a great behind. Oh, yeah. And then you could look. Yeah, but I'm at. blind and you'll see a great behind. <laughs> 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 it's eight hours, but you say, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, upstate Brett checking in. Uh, yes, I was impressed by the Golden Girls exterior house that um, they, they also oh, had yeah. on the MGM uh, right. Studios lot. Right. Rick, uh, you remember anything about it? Well, that was you. Rick no, was that Universal. Was MGM. I'm Universal, my friend. Yeah, Rick was Universal when they were. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you now look to your left, you'll see a familiar-looking house. Did I hear? Yes, that's right. It is the house of the Cleavers. Beaver, <laughs> Wally Cleaver, Ward, and, of course, uh, his wife, M Mrs. Cleaver. And um, you remember all the fun they would have inside that house. But as we drive around, you'll notice this was just for the exteriors, the front shot. As we drive around back, you'll see it's just empty. The front propped up with the uh, various lumber. This is what they call a facade or false front. In the business. <laughs> now me, Rick Delgado, or Mad Max, as you might know me, from my radio days in Florida. Uh, <laughs> you are such a douchebag. <laughs> we'll take you on the rest of the tour. And uh, let's look at the Psycho House, which is actually one-third scale. But they use a technique called force perspective <laughs> to bring it uh, to size. By not really allowing you to get close. Could someone shoot me in the head? <laughs> yeah, like right now. <laughs> We're now going to go through the prop warehouse where I could take a nap. <laughs> yeah, it's Lucy's tampon. This is great. Lucille Ball. Doug. Yo, what's up? Hey, Doug. This trip sounds far too intelligent for you, Opie. My trip? Yeah. I was in Turkey and in, uh, in the Greek islands. Let me, ask, let me ask you one question. In Woodshop, did you used to take a dump in the eye wash machine, too? <laughs> <laughs> take it easy, guys. All right, man. <laughs> let, me, let me go to uh, Gay Marco. Hey, what? I've been waiting two hours to hear about your gay friend. <laughs> oh, you are one of my gay friends, Marco. Uh, that I, I, I refer to on the 2020 downtown piece. Oh, really? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Marco? Hey, welcome back. Thank you. I'm Thank you. To go on my Marco. vacation. What, what was your vacation? I know I'm getting ready to go. I'm leaving oh. in two days. Where are you Wh going? Where are you going? To Gay Paris. Gay Paris. You're going to Paris? Yes. Wonderful. Or, man, it might have sound fabulous. Fabulous. My new boyfriend, Greg from Salem, Massachusetts, is taking me. Wait, we, uh, we hooked you up with him. No, this is the one I met when I was on vacation in Provincetown. Oh, and he's taking you to Paris in front yes. of the shop? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. What, did, what did you do to him to rate a trip to Paris? Look. Everything. He left something in a rag. Did he treat you like the channel? <laughs>
<laughs> you know that. The tunnel, right? Oh, come on, Opie. Goes, you uh, know it goes from why England they to France. <laughs> the tunnel. Uh -huh. Marco in France. We oui, we. Oui. Marco, come here. Come with me to the Eiffel Tower, and I fill you up with this. Oh. Oh. All right, gay Marco. Well, are we going to hear about this? What? What? I think we all have a gay friend, right? <laughs> well, what did you say? Did you talk about me in depth? No. Oh, <laughs> all right, no. we got to go. I had one gay friend. Okay, bye. Bye, hey, Marco. Hey, Opie, Marco. did uh, when you uh, saw the Acropolis, mm -hmm. did it um, end uh, with you going through the gift shop? <laughs> did it? Because that's how uh, all of my attractions uh, at Disney end. When when I go into Mexico yeah. to get some Mexican food, mm -hmm. as I leave, uh, somehow I'm in a Mexican gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> Every ride, you know, they had. Yeah, I'm on Space Mountain. All of a sudden, it's a Space Mountain gift shop. They had a they had a whole different scam going on in the Greek islands and uh, in Turkey. They're yeah, hair. Uh, the, right. Uh, you'd go on these excursions, you know, mm -hmm. to the ruins and crap. Yeah, and. Uh, there would always be a, a tour guide that said, oh, before we get to the uh, the ancient city of Ephesus. But sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Before you get there, what? We will be stopping at uh, Blah Blah's jewelry shop. They make uh, the best jewelry on ah, the island. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just a jewelry store. The guy's yeah. getting some money under the table to, to bring to the jewelry store. You could go Please there anyway. Right. <laughs> That's all they have in Turkey is jewelry stores. Jewelry store. <laughs> you stop already. <laughs> but I want it's a jewelry store, dummy. Shut up. All right. Let's take a break. Oh, we should do the Robert Plant Dude. thing. Huh? You're leaving I, us? I get, yeah, I get, I get oh, half. Oh, yeah, no. Thank you, guys. Well, thanks for letting me hang, man. Taking off, man. Thanks for letting me hang. But, uh, but um, <laughs> I thought we were all just having fun. And just kinda... We are just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> he does this every time, bro. What a what? weenie head. Talk about peer pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Flat lever. You're oh. a flat lever, dick. What? Oh. Keg's empty, so now you're leaving, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can only afford one keg. Yeah, my... thanks, Lynn. <laughs> you drank, you drank all the good beer, now you left Meisterbrow in the fridge. Back and leaves. What a dick. You go to those high school parties, and then the kid only had one keg. It's like, ah, keg's done. Let's move on. Spent. Time's it's 10 o'clock, and we'll go home. Let's go to the park and What's get a up? beer ball. What's up? <laughs> Dude, yeah, what's up? Go. All Damn. right, so you're leaving yeah. us. Huh? Let's do That's Ooh. all right. Hey, if you got to go, you got to go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a tool, man. You're such oh. a tool. Next thing you know, it's going to be like, well, what time you got to be there? Seven. Dude, you're going to be late anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be at the Vanderbilt. You think you're going to make it? Oh. You're going to get out of that tunnel traffic. You won't be there at nine. Call everyone and tell me you won't be there at nine. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Oh. Fine, leave. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Give me a D-I-C-K! <laughs> Give me a D-I-C-K! Ah, <laughs> oh, Brewer, you know we're kidding. Thank you for coming by. Oh, I'll call there? up. We'll do the rest. We'll be like chicks, you know, when, the, when you first start dating that really cool chick and you go to bed, but you're still on the phone. You had to leave her house, but now you're on the phone going, oh, so what are you doing? It's laying out of bed. <laughs> just thinking about you. <laughs> I go in my car now. Hey, yo, man, what's going on? What's no, up, I'm just man? driving. <laughs> We're talking about Athens or something? Right. <laughs> Fast forward like three years and you're living with the girl. Turn off the TV. I'm trying to sleep. I'm going out. <laughs> you know what I did? I got in so much trouble once in high school. I was going out with this girl and um, uh, she started getting pissed at me that I didn't call her enough. Oh. And like give her enough time with the on the phone, so she calls me up to bitch me out about this. I was like smoking pot all day. I'm exhausted, <laughs> tired. I lay down on the bed with the phone next to me oh, and I'm listening best. to her talk. I fell asleep, started snoring, and she. I don't know what I did, but she was calling me to tell me I don't pay enough attention to her on the phone, and I fell asleep. I wake up. I wake up to that. <laughs> sound that the phone makes when it's been off the hook for like a year. I got drool. I'm like, I've been asleep for a while, man. I've been out. 
And then, but for a second, I'm thinking like, why am I laying here? Why is the phone here? And then it all came together like, Dude. oh my God, I'm on the phone. It's the best thing chick. you could have done. It's the best <laughs> thing you could have done. You got out clean and easy. <laughs> I know those chicks. That's my sister. They talk just really? for the sake of talking. Just for the sake of talking. Yeah. And they have too much time to think about what they're going to say to you. So they're well prepared. <laughs> and you're just... And another I thing, I was talking to Karen. Why'd you even wear that shirt? Because you know I can't stay that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up! Oh my God! Shut up! <laughs> That's what you want to say, but that'll. Yeah. yeah. All right, Brewer, we got to get you out of here. <laughs> Brewer, starts, <laughs> Brewer starts his rock and roll comedy tour. He's going to be all over the country. Yeah. He starts tomorrow night at the Vanderbilt. I'm miss you guys. Uh, uh, on Long Island. Yeah, we're all going. I'll call, I'll call from the road. Yeah. That, give us some road stories. Oh, you got to do I'll that. Leave messages. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. Seven in the morning. Call. Hey, I know you guys ain't there yet, but we're still. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We'll play your We're phone call. We're in calls. Athens. Just, you know my number. Just leave, I, leave I will. freaking calls. For I will, yeah. I will. All right. I will, I will. Uh, we're all going tomorrow night. And for New York, we got a couple pairs of tickets if you give us a call right now. 877-692-1027. Our buddy, our pal, Jim Brewer. Thank nice. you for letting me hang again. See you tomorrow night. Get Good. your balls out. <laughs> Clap your ass up. Get your feet in. It's today. That could be the gayest thing. I've ever heard the Opie and Anthony show. We're not homosexual, but we are willing to learn. Uh, Anthony Paisano of Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy. Yes, Paisano. Can't wait to get down there. Yeah, all the romance of Italy. It's a warm, friendly, relaxed restaurant. They serve incredible, authentic Italian cuisine. It's made from old world Italian recipes and priced right. The portions, huge at Paisano. Incredible pasta lunch specials, too. Ask for Joey, the owner. You get a glass of wine in the house. And they have a great wine list at Paisano of Mulberry Street, right in the heart of Little Italy. 136 Mulberry. Call them up, 965-1188. 965-1188. They're open seven days a week. Weekends till 2 a.m. Paisano of Mulberry Street. OP and the 1027. Oh, yeah. This is the ONA Show. Thanks for checking us out today. Greatly appreciate it. Hey, man. Back live after almost, uh, what, two weeks off? Yeah. Anthony, what's going on? Hey, guys, what's up, man? Hey. Hey, hey listen, the 2020 downtown thing last week, the funniest part of the whole show, you know all the ONA listeners were, uh, you know, watching and everything. They had the marijuana poll. Did you guys see that? Uh, after us, they had another story, right? Yeah, 80% vo- uh, voted online that uh, marijuana should be legalized. I know the ONA factor had to come into play on that. Uh, <laughs> you never know. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about uh, 2020 downtown, I guess, tomorrow. Cause, all right, uh, man, Red Sox suck. Anthony hasn't checked it out yet. <laughs> all right, man. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Brewer came back. It's nice to get back, though. Ah, uh, Brian, what's going on? Hey, nothing much, guys. What's up? Talking to you. Hey. Hey, I heard that uh, Sex for Sam for the first time on the weekend replay. Uh, we love that bit. Oh, my God. Love that one. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. I normally don't listen to the radio on my days off from work, but I sat there and did nothing just to hear that. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> hey, you guys uh, maybe plan on doing a DC version? We'd like to. God, could you imagine somebody going for a two-point conversion on a White House tour? <laughs> hey, that could work. That <laughs> would rock. As soon as we find our audience in Washington, we'll come down and do some fun stuff. Definitely. Cool. All right. All right, thanks, man. Thank you, Brian. Brewer's back. Yeah, Brewer. I'm back. I feel like my uh, mom just, like, said, all right, just eat your green beans and go outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. No, I'm supposed to do a dress rehearsal tonight. Yeah. And you're getting too serious. Dress rehearsals. Yeah, with the lighting and all the cool stuff yeah. you want it. And, uh, Can't just sh- put some schlub in a suit to get all the spots and the lights <laughs> right. And... I couldn't do it easy. I couldn't, like, do a DJ. You know. Right. Uh, but, uh, so it didn't get there yet. And it's not going to be there till like, 9 at night. And Girl! I just, you know when the truck ain't going and your behind is sweaty <laughs> and you're about to leave Obi and Andy, but your highness says, screw it. <laughs> and flies say, <laughs> so I can hang. Cool. <sighs> and we're done. No, I'm kidding, of we course. Are, wow, it's six. I don't care what this guy's trying to look. say. Uh, Joe. Hey, guys. What's up? Well, now that Brewer came back, it's not going to make much sense, but uh, enough of Naked Sexy Fun Time. It's time to start the show. <laughs> naked, naked Sexy Fun Time? Well, it's just, I call everything Naked Sexy Fun Time. 
It's a, it's a fun word to use. You should try it. What? Smoke weed every day. <laughs> okay, terrific. What? I don't know, man. Let's see what Sacramento's doing today. Chris. Hello. What's up, Chris? Chris? Hello? Yes? You're on the radio, Chris. What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm on a terrible cell phone. I apologize. I've been waiting for so long. I didn't know if I was ever going to get through. And? And, anyways, I wanted to... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, B. Oh. oh. What? She was waiting two hours. That's awful. <laughs> that is awful. She's from Sacramento. Oh. It's a new city. We oh, want to make man. friends there before you start hanging up on people. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, and you give it to her right in Das Dimpier. Das Dimpier. All right, we're done. Awful. Are we done? No, we're not <laughs> done yet. We're not done. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Get back you here. You have things to do. We gotta go. I'm looking at my notes for my trip to see if I uh, I, I did everything. Did you talk oh. about the, your horrific plane ride across an entire ocean? Did it freak How long, out? Was, How long was he? He was like... Brewer, brewer man. I mean, Brewer's well traveled. I'm gonna say big star like Brewer, and, and he likes to dope on an, on occasion. Once. Have you ever gone to like Europe, across the Atlantic Ocean, flying for six straight hours, realizing that you are effed if anything happens to the plane? Get it? There's nothing you could do. Holy s! There's nothing. I, I I was freaking. See, you can't. You can't. Go I was. What are you freaking? Fre I, I was like. You can't. Do it. I was coming back from Athens, and we were we we flew. Uh, when it was daylight out, which is a, it's a piece of cake. Darkness, you start thinking weird right. crap, right? The plane don't know. But you're over the Atlantic Ocean. You're over the Atlantic Ocean for six straight hours. Yeah. It's black. You start, no, well, it's daylight. Oh, this, is, this proves I'm really a wimp. So you're looking down and you're I'm seeing looking, the lovely I'm uh, looking Atlantic. What? Seven straight miles down to the ocean. And you start thinking. I, I, I'm watching Pulp Fiction. I had a nice little DVD portable player, and I'm, I'm loving my Pulp Fiction. And then all of a sudden, I have to look out the window, and then my mind starts wandering. And I'm like, man, you know, if we're over land, and there's like a little problem, well, we just have to find an airport. We, you got the time. You yeah. always talk yourself down. So I'm looking that out. Stuff always happens. Oh, it happens. We'll land in Philly. Right, 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 right. Uh, you know, the the pilot has an hour before disaster. Hey, you can find somewhere. You can find something. The crash landing or something. We'll be all right. Uh, I'm looking out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> uh, pilot calling from the flight deck. Uh, we got a problem here. Uh, lost all hydraulic, but yeah, Pittsburgh's right down there. <laughs> right. So, uh, we're gonna try to find it. We're just gonna circle out. We'll have some fun. Gonna do some power <laughs> rolls. <laughs> We're over land, Opie. Yeah. I over even, land. I know. So I'm thinking, man, you're over the Atlantic Ocean for six straight hours. It's seven miles straight down. And, and now I'm thinking, oh, whoa, whoa, what was that noise? What was that noise? I, uh, yeah. I was losing it, man. Uh-oh. Losing it. These things go down. They go These down. Go down. <laughs> this is what I told. Relax. This, Relax. This is what I told. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Relax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what I told Anthony at lunch today, though. I can handle if if I'm going to be a, in a plane crash, if it's going to be like really quick into the side of a mountain, you really didn't see it coming. You're 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 still alive for a split second, dead the next. This is what really freaked me out about flying over the Atlantic Ocean. I'm thinking the plane drops out of the sky. You're not dying right away. You're screaming with oh. 200 other freaking. Oh, and you know how like you just, people are. And you're gonna have that fight to the window to bust it open to get through is whatever. Thing? I must I get out. I had to slap myself in the face to get get this out of my head. Wow. I was It would just be like tumbling, and then you'd be talking. To, and you know how people are like, they'd be, oh, my God. And then you got to <laughs> hear that for like four minutes or so four while you're minutes. plummeting Complete to your death. <gasps> oh, my God. I got to, oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> shut up, bro. Shut I know. Up. We're crashing. all in the same boat here. I, dummy. I would spend my last four minutes alive listening to, Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Write a letter, Murray! Write a letter to the children! Write it on the puke pack, Murray! Sit back, dummy. We're going to die. Screw it. Just, like, just sit there and shut up. <laughs> oh, my God! The worst. Oh, my God! Like Castaway crash scene, yes, Rick. No, you know why? Yes, Rick. That, that was a bull, bull crap crash scene anyway. Oh, Anytime man. you see one of those planes go down in the water, they find pieces that look like guitar picks. <laughs> <laughs> it's guitar picks and body parts for everyone, Norton. Well, not only that, it looks like when a seagull just dives in. Yeah. It it's not a gradual. No. Oh, no, no, well, bring it in. I'm going to glide this in. 
<laughs> yes, the Boeing 60, uh, 767, very well equipped to glide. Oh, Think about how hard your belly hurts when you do a belly flop four yeah. feet <laughs> over. Right, right. <laughs> how hard now the water feels. A couple feel. tons, 40,000 miles an hour into that. You yeah, think those engines, landed. you think the engines on those planes are that big for aesthetics? <laughs> they need a lot of engine to keep those things in the air. I was just beyond freight. There's a lot of fat behind <laughs> yeah. on the jumbo jet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when it goes uh, down... Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, about two minutes into our plummet to death. Uh, about halfway there, so... Uh, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. If you, you look out the uh, left side window, you will see we've lost our wing. It has just ripped completely <laughs> off in the wind. Uh, we've now reached terminal velocity. And, uh, we're now spinning around real fast. We're spinning, so some of you probably pinned to the uh, cockpit walls and ceilings, the uh, cabin, and... Um, well, it's going to be tough for you to even scream because the air being squeezed out of your lungs. Uh, and we are, uh, we have lost cabin pressure. And we'll see you on the ground. And uh, <laughs> anybody interested in a beverage, just ask one of the flight attendants and be sure they'd be happy to uh, give one to you. Thank you for flying DWA. You right. can uh, examine your backside as it's hovering <laughs> out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Keep you busy for a while. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think over the water it's any different than the land or anything. Uh, like I that. know. Just something that, you know, I don't know. You, you know, where you I see the out. land, you're thinking, you know, I saw I saw the yeah. airport movies. They had t they had some time. They were a little freaked. That's they, true. If they, if, 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 they, if, they do have that cocktail. little problem, that little problem. Like, all right, we're going to let a red light up here on this. They don't know if they're going to make it, but they're going to at least try. And there's a chance. The first thing the pilot would do, which is tap it with my finger. All right, I've done that. It's still on. <laughs> so now I guess we better land somewhere. Oh, wait, we're over the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does like movies are yeah. hilarious. Oh, I they're, love those. They're yeah. under the sea, and the guys are like drinking, going, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that was when they really got bad. Like the we're first really one wasn't bad. Here. The first one was the one with the bomb, right? <laughs> There was the bomb and the briefcase, and yeah, I think that was the first one. <laughs> hey, uh, if but we... then they started getting Chuck Heston involved. And... Yeah, no, I've got to get from this plane to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Pull me out on a cable! <laughs> Damn you! What the hell? <laughs> you blew it up! <laughs> If we take a quick break, we can play a game of what do we learn on the show. All right, educational program. Should first be day back. Really good. Make a headache for myself. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Two hungry sharks in the world of unlimited halibut. A four-hour parade of meat. Anthony Pinnacle, Horny Goatway. How's your sex life? I've met a lot of people want to find a way to make it a little better, a little more fulfilling, a little more fun, that sex stuff. Try some Pinnacle, Horny Goatweed. It's the name of the herb. It's called Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed. The guys at Pinnacle didn't make it up. It's uh, an all-natural botanical complex designed to enhance sexual uh, performance and libido. Based on all the latest research into sexual performance and well-being, Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed, the only formula clinically tested and doctor recommended. In a recent study conducted by a Manhattan internist, 60% of the male participants reported positive benefits from Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed. One couple said the Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed made their already <laughs> torrid sexual activities earth-shattering. Sorry, guys. Get Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed. It's at GNC, the vitamin shop, and other vitamin retailers. Or call them up, 1-800-899-5323. 1-800-899-5323. Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed is 20% off this whole week at GNC. How about that? Get your F on uh, with Pinnacle Horny Goat Weed. 1-800-899-5323. You can do it. Yeah. It's time to play What Did We Learn on the O&A Show today. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, uh, Barch. You can do it. Best one of the day right here. What did I learn? I learned if you don't know what it is, poop in it. <laughs> so that he does. Bravo. <laughs> Wow, how the hell did this guy know this? Uh, this is so inside. Al Max, today I learned that Spuds Buckley's dating Mad Max's sister. Wow. <laughs> ooh, ooh, wow. Wow. Bravo. The slow, dramatic clap. <laughs> Bravo. Uh, Jersey Gary with a ton of them today, Anthony. He, he's on fire. Welcome back, Tools. What did I learn on the ONA show? I learned only ONA can make getting a concussion funny. 
Uh, Opie's new culinary treat, da thumpa soup. Uh, you should always wash the splooge towel after cheating a wife. <laughs> Jerry Lewis is a fat, bloated, half-dead comedian. Wow. The muscular dystrophy kids have bitchin' wheelchairs this year. He also learned you don't have to leave Florida to see the world, and it's cleaner. Right. Line of the day. What's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that one. What's the big deal? Uh, big deal. I also learned it's always Oktoberfest at Disney. Jim Cook only gets into trouble when he's sober. The quick way to end a date, go take a leak of the sink. You shouldn't go to countries that movie characters have had to escape from. <laughs> and Lady Di is an LSD hallucination of Walt Disney. Bravo, Gary. Gary. Ernie all right, uh, what did I learn? I learned all Turks have moles and smell like feet. <laughs> Relics are just old crap. <laughs> and suspension is over. Welcome back, guys. Tricky dick. Uh, checking in. I learned tab A and slot B works up a certain aroma. <laughs> Boy, they listen, man. It's like leaving Hardcore the tuna fish listen. can outside. They write it in down. In the sun. Yeah, they're the best. When someone asked uh, me recently if we have comedy writers. I'm like, we don't need them, man. No. We got our writers. Scuba writes, today I learned that when a problem comes along, you must dip it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Also, a good fart sound effect is always funny. <laughs> Uh, all right. And wow, there's a lot today. Kenny's going to be checking out Jim Brewer tomorrow night at the Vanderbilt on Long Island. I hope a lot of people are because we're going to have a yeah. party tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Have fun. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I learned. Uh, you were going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Haywood writes I learned there are a lot oh. of Greeks with really smelly feet. Hmm. What is Shannon saying? Let's see what Shannon has. Shannon. Shannon. Yeah. What's up? What'd you learn? That uh, Jim Brewer is stupider than he looks. What? <laughs> you want to um, share with the class? He's acting like he's on crack all the time. <laughs> the crack. The crack. You're on hey. crack. Hey, Brewer's on it. Like yeah, a crack. You ain't dumber than he looks. <laughs> hey, Brewer, you look dumb, but you're dumber. <laughs> Like you're stupider than crack. stupid. <laughs> hey, you want to hear an insult? You're stupid than stupid. <laughs> I got <a> Jackass. <laughs> what are you in seventh grade? He's stupider than stupid. <laughs> Have, a beer. Hey, hey, hey. Have a beer. Take your shirt off, whore. <laughs> crack on. Hey, you're stupider. <laughs> uh, Chris, what's up? Hi, gosh, I'm so, I feel so lucky I got through not only once, but twice. I'm calling from Sacramento, oh, and I wanted to tell you. Like, yeah, you have that lousy phone that hung up. I know, I apologize for that. Yeah. Thank you for taking my call again. No problem, I you sound know. like a lovely lady. Uh, you're listening to us on, I what, know. KXOA? In oh, KXOA. Yeah. Yeah, and the we love you guys. The big yellow one's a son. So, Chris, you waited two hours the first time. You've been on hold for another 10 or 15 minutes long distance. So what's uh, yeah. what do you got for the show today? What do I have for the show? Yeah, why did you call us? Well, I wanted to call and tell you that you guys... It's a little joke. It's a little joke. Hi, Linda. Oh, shut up, bitch. That's funny. <laughs> hey, that's Carlos it. He's coming by this week. Isn't He's it? hilarious. He, we love the Carlos. What the F, man? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, white people, they're just smart. They get high, but they do it in places, not in public. <laughs> that guy's hilarious. Never call me a beaner. If you haven't seen Carlos, you're out of your mind. you got to check that guy out. I think he's playing Caroline's this weekend. It's hilarious. I'm going to sell out those shows for him, man. What's wrong with you, people? <laughs> what you... He's great. The, He's smoking, awesome. the smoking pot joke is really good. Oh, what you want? Oh, he said, yeah, I mean, but, but Mexicans, they do it in public. How stupid. How stupid. <laughs> when people do it, they just do it in their house. Right. <laughs> and they walk around. <laughs> Ikea boy writes, today I learned that someone uh, born. born in the 1800s is over 200 years old. <laughs> 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 All right, let's... Hey, Chris, what's up? Hey, hey. Welcome back. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, man. Hey, I just wanted to say today I learned that 
if you take a dump in the bidet, you have to leave an extra large tip for the maid. Yes. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Skipping. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right. Stinky rules. <laughs> yeah. Stinky does rule. Let's go to Woodsy. Woodsy. Yo, what's going on, guys? Hey. I learned that Jim Cook cannot ride a bike sober. Right. And I learned that people... Whoa, hey, 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 Mike. Hey, hey. He said his name was Mike. Mike. Yes. Mike. So if you go on E.T.'s adventure, make sure your name is two ass. <laughs> Dude, we just... Take it easy, Woodsy. We sa saved his bit, and then he we read it. We saved it, and then he uh, wrecked it by having to say the Michael Hunt thing again. We all got what you were trying to say. Right. That's how we get away with some things Weep. here and there. Ass. Weep. We don't have to fill in all the spaces. Some people get it. John, what's up? O and E, welcome back from vacation, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. I learned that when you're vacationing in Turkey... And you're going to eat a raspberry. You better make damn sure it's a raspberry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That mole was huge, man. <laughs> All right, John. Thanks, guys. Forgot to talk about the lady by the pool in Athens. Uh, hotel pool. 65-year-old lady with uh, the... Hey, the did the... you find her age by checking her taint, Opie? <laughs> no, no? Okay. I'm just, just uh, checking. I'm just quickly guessing, Anthony. Oh, quickly okay. Guessing. All right. I thought it was an accurate age. Uh... 65 years old uh, with gorgeous boobs. Breast really? Breast implants. Elephant skin oh, around the knees, man. but... Yes. Why? Yes. Father. Yes. Ugh, implants on a 65-year-old broad. It was, it was an interesting sight. Ooh, but she had uh, elephant uh, legs. <laughs> elephant legs. <laughs> Come this way, Mary. <laughs> Where they have all this cellulite and this extra... <laughs> all right. It's like the kid in school and the that... And flies put... are hovering around with cracks. Remember the kid in school that bought like a piece of crap dodge dart and put a blower thing on the hood like <laughs> cut the blower thing and got the colorful air filter to put on it it's still a dodge dart why are you putting the implants wow. in the 65 year old lady <laughs> I I have a feeling that was a birthday present from her husband uh, yeah, it could have been. there you go hey look at the, this guy uh, blind his name is blind Says that I learned today. I laughed within the first 20 minutes and didn't have to change the station. Oh, thank you. According hey. to the Rick rule. Thank you. Cool. Uh, quick stop from Levittown. I learned that according to Disney, there were black Nazis. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I think there were. I think that I never knew that, but does it? No. According to Disney, you go to the uh, Indiana Jones stunt show, stunt show, they have, uh, you know, Indy fights the Germans. And I look up on the hill, and there's a, a prominent member of this stunt show playing a Nazi soldier, and he's a black guy. Seek out, mother effer. There were black Germans, though. Well, I know there were Germans, but I don't think you'd find any black German in the uh, army back uh, during... Uh, I mean, the Third Reich. We don't have to remind you of drunk German Ed with the Ed with the bullet hole in his head. I know he's he, he's a German. He was in the German army, <laughs> where he got the bullet hole in his head, <laughs> and he's a black guy. True story. What, what? Drunk German Ed. Then what did he do? He like he looked up. He wasn't supposed to. I looked he had, up. He a training mission. Yeah, he was drunk from the night before. He kept drinking. He got <laughs> out. He stood up and a bullet hit him right in the helmet and marked him permanently. <laughs> he got a bullet hole. They call him Drunk German Ed with the bullet hole in his. Head. <laughs> True story. Yeah. Every guy, he's got, uh, he's, got, he's got a crater right here. He's got a big like like hole the helmet where the saved went him from head. obvious death, but the bullet went. <laughs> the bullet went through my Kevlar helmet and hit my head. I'm drunk, German head with a bullet hole in my head. But like Hitler wasn't too hip on that, you know. I don't think he would have. Uh, All right, so he would have done that. We, we got to go in. Uh, Tom, yes. Tom Mack writes. I learned that I could get an acting job at Disney as a trash man. <laughs> <laughs> an acting job. Hey Brewer, cast thanks. member. We got to do this fast. Brewer yep. tomorrow night at the Vanderbilt in Long Island. We're all going. Just a few tickets available, so go get them now. Okay. Right. Thank you, guys. Opie, Tom the sweetheart, and Anthony. That's the a hole over there. You see, sucking f. Cool jack off ass F. The Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah, that's funny. 1027 WNEW. Listen after ONA for Ron and Fez. Ah, uh, WWF Smackdown. Tonight. 
For one time only. For one night only. The show that revolutionized network television. It's WWF Smackdown, live on UPN tonight, Tuesday night. Ever since Kurt Angle turned Stone Cold Steve Austin's appreciation night into a milkomania, the alliance leader has uh, had payback on his mind. Last week, the rattlesnake exacted some revenge when he stole Kurt Angle's Olympic gold medals and threw him into the river. What will Stone Cold Steve Austin have in store for Kurt tonight? Hmm. Tune in to find out. Also, WCW owner Shane McMahon will do anything in his power to eliminate the biggest threat to the success of the alliance. WCW champion The Rock. That's right. Will the former five-time WCW champ Booker T finally get the respect he feels he deserves? Or, whew. Boy, this goes on and on. Well, it's going to be really good. That's I know, but you, have you have can't tell, tell by this. Smackdown. We watch it. It's fun. Watch it tonight, live, on UPN in the New York City area. You can watch WWF SmackDown live on the 30-foot screen at WWF New York. Call them up, 212-398-2563 for details.